Oh my goodness, everyone. It's been so long. How are you all doing? It's been ages. Welcome back at long last to Playframe Plus on the purple website. Ridiculous. And welcome to this little Gator Game speedrun stream that I promised a, a month ago at this point. So to give you an indication of how much longer this international move took than I planned, uh, when I was recording that episode with Carrie of my first rec ever recorded speedrun of anything, um, which we were doing in anticipation of the move, we were like trying to get everything banked in advance. We kind of knew roughly what the dates were going to be. I sincerely thought that we were going to be moved and set up in the new place in time to be able to stream that afternoon after that episode went live. That was a month ago. And only now are we first finally able to do a proper stream again. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> but welcome. And thank you all. Goodness, the hype train's already going. Y'all have already been so busy. Hang on, let me thank some folks real quick. Midnight Skies, thanks for the seven months. Gosh, it's seven months now. We blew right past six months. Some of you have new Froyo flavors and like badge colors and stuff. Thank you, <laughs> Cap Steph Barnes also for the seven months. Happy seven month anniversary indeed. Absolute, seven months also. There's a lot of people for seven months. I'm gonna spoil it right now. <laughs> thank you for the six months though, Game Worm 2. Seven months for Pirate Yarn? And Wobble Scott? Wait, Wobble Scott, are you who I think you are? <laughs> Thank you for subscribing, Wobble Scott. I think we have, I think we have a, uh, one of the game's devs in here. <laughs> Yay, welcome! <laughs> welcome! Thank you for this game. All around. <laughs> oh, goodness, two! Robin, you're in here as well. <laughs> uh, all right, welcome to both of you. <laughs> I'm thrilled to be here too. <laughs> it has been so long since I was able to stream something. Oh, hold on. Hi, Dan. In November, I was listening to your Twitch stream while finishing my grad school applications. Just wanted to say, got in. Thanks for helping me get my applications done. Hey, congrats. And happy to help. I didn't really help, but like, good for you is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm glad a thing I did was accidentally useful. That's a really the best you can hope for. Thanks, pal. <laughs> and thank goodness. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Maslumo. I got a lot of thinking to do real quick. I, I should catch up. Absolutely. Thank you for the bits. Blue Amber. Seven months. Yay, more little game. Never enough. I agree. I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm super excited to be doing this speedrun stream. Because I haven't actually recorded another run since I uh, put that video up. But since I did have like a month and a half waiting for stuff to arrive with only a switch in hand, I did get to practice uh, a little Gator game running a lot over the last stretch. And uh, I haven't put up a new time or anything because we're going to start recording some new ones today, but um, I've, I've improved considerably. <laughs> hey, welcome, Gray Griffin. You've caught us live. Well done. Thank you, Neo Shadow, for the seven months. And account made for ants for five months. Guess you'll have to speed around everything to make up for the lost time. <laughs> Boy, we've got so much lost time. Thank you, Louis Hansen, for seven months. And the NK dude also. Two months for like rain. Seven for star tracing. So it, because we've been gone for a while, I think a lot of people are going to be subscribing and resubscribing. So maybe I'll thank a lot of you at the end. How about that? Because otherwise, we're never going to speed run. <laughs> <laughs> but I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Are we having a chill Sunday? Yeah, we are so far. It feels good to be back doing this. I plan for this to be a very chill day, like speed running notwithstanding. It's going to be a very chill day. Doing this, probably diving back into 14 just for fun on my own. <laughs> thank you for the bits, Baha Bali. Hello all and great to have you back, Dan. Oh, thank you. Good to see you all again. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna. So I'm thinking, when we get started here, like the first run we do, well, I'll kind of do something similar to what I did in the uh, video we put up on the channel about a month ago, 
and kind of do sort of a walkthrough demonstration first of what the run is. Because, in part, just to refresh everybody, but also because I've, like, my route's not different, but I've learned a lot more about how to do, like, 101 level speed running movement and, like, tech and stuff. And some new tricks have been discovered since that video went live. <laughs> Uh, th there's a lot to enjoy. And heck, maybe uh, if we're feeling like it later on, well, we're going to be doing some any percent run uh, attempts here, but maybe a little bit later, we'll, uh, we can also make some attempts at the all friends category, which is basically instead of just trying to finish the game and as fast a time as possible, you have to do all of the friend quests to get all of the friends to the playground uh, for it to count. So it's a bit longer. And the routing is quite different, and it involves a lot more scrap gathering because you need to be able to get all of the uh, uh, bracelet monkey and uh, uh, upgrades, and you need to buy all the stuff from Roy, all the junk for trash. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Some new tech has been discovered since fill in the blank is the quintessential speedrunning experience. Yeah, that's what it seems to be like. This is my first time, like, not only speedrunning things, but also kind of, like, paying any attention to a speedrunning community. Like, I've been, like, kind of just lurking in the, uh, Little Gator Game Discord. They, they have a few channels for the speedrunners to gather. And, uh, it's been fun seeing kind of, like, the chatter that happens between the runners, uh, folks posting their kind of new personal bests, uh, congratulating each other, folks posting when they find some new way to move in the game that no one else had seen and figured out which is really cool. And the just like chaos that throws into like, oh man, this change, what like, what can we do different with that? It's really fun. I see why people do it. <laughs> I'm sorry if anyone's asked already, but have you played Pizza Tower? I think it's a game with awesome animation. I have actually just recorded a one-off for it. So that'll come out in a week and a half, maybe on the channel. It does have really cool animation. It's like the, <laughs> it's some of the best worst game anime, like the best worst animation you'll ever see. Like, I don't know how to categorize it. It's that kind of two, early 2000s Newgrounds era, like chaotic animation energy that is not about like, like this animation is not going to be made of, like this isn't gonna be the best animation, but it is gonna be the most animation, <laughs> if that makes sense. And Pizza Tower has extremely that energy, but in a very good, like actually well executed way. I'm not meaning any shade whatsoever when I call it like quote unquote bad animation. It is, uh, <laughs> it's extremely effective. Hey, thank you for the seven months, RMAX for real. Welcome back to the purple site. I'm going to be so confused here. I haven't watched your actual videos on the game yet. Yo boy, you are going to be confused, but you're going to get a very accelerated impression. I, anybody who's here, who's not played this game yourselves, I cannot recommend it enough. It is easily it's i think it's like one of my just like favorite games period now i really adore it it's there's very few games i've played that actually kind of capture the spirit of just childlike play and actually sort of encourage and uh incentivize you to do the same thing in that space and it's just it's really effective at that and just fun to run through speedily i, I have a lot of affection for it so it felt very much like it was uncannily made for me and like and play frame type stuff and apparently that's not like radically far from the truth it wasn't made just specifically for me obviously but uh apparently like that kind of vibe the vibe that we pedal in i guess on play frame is apparently very much the uh like the kind of vibe that uh the devs were going for and so it makes a lot of sense that uh i'm a fan <laughs> thanks well good gracious that's a lot of subs to gift, Baha Bali. You already did that. <laughs> you did that. You can't do that twice. <laughs> I'm not the only one speed running today, I guess. Anyway, we should here. We'll um we'll shift over to the game and start uh doing a bit of a demonstration here. To kind of walk through the run and how it's gonna sort of work, right? So hang on, let me uh let me shift over here. There we are. <laughs> I feel the same way. Well-timed audio cue. Y'all haven't missed a step. <laughs> oh, you're right, Bahabal, you did this the first time, and it's... What a loophole you just played. 
well done. <laughs> My mistake, but well done. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Little Gator Game, everyone. Woo! I love the ragdoll power. We're not going to get to really use it in the run itself, so I had to get some ragdoll <laughs> represented in here at the start. So enjoy the ragdoll, everyone. If my voice sounds a little funnier, it's possibly because I had a cold like last week uh, and kind of lost my voice for a couple of days. Uh, so there will probably be a few episodes that come out on play frame in the next couple weeks that also sound a little weird. I'm like in that phase where I've like 98% recovered from it. My voice just still sounds like a little lower than usual. Otherwise, I'm fine, though. Anyhow, let's uh, <laughs> let's do Hi, Esther. Let's do a little bit of a walkthrough of this here run we're going to do. And up front, I want to give a thanks to... So you'll notice up on the screen, up on here, I've uh, added uh, Live Split. This is one of uh, a very, very common speedrunner tool uh, used for kind of tracking, like, not only your time, but also kind of like different landmark milestones along the run to kind of see, like, how, how on pace are you? How are you doing? Um, and I want to give a thanks to somebody in the speedrunning community for this game called Arrow, who is not only the moderator or one of the moderators for the uh, little gator game speedrun.com uh, page, but is also the current world record holder for any percent. <laughs> um, because they kind of set it up where Live Link will automatically uh, like track when you hit these milestones instead of you having to manually hit a button like you do by default, uh, which is super helpful because it's way more accurate this way and also one less thing that I have to pay attention to. So grateful for that. All right. Thank you all so much for <laughs> all the subscriptions and resubscriptions and bits, by the way. Well, I'll do more thanks later on, but seriously, I appreciate it a lot. It's good to be back. Now, let's go ahead and get ourselves a clean file to start with. And let's kind of walk through not only what the route is going to be, but let me start to sort of walk you through what some of the tricks and movement and stuff are. So. We start a new game. Here's our little guy. We're going to scoot this way. I find that like most runners who have records and stuff jump over this and I always just sort of like clip the bottom of my foot and feel like I slow down when I do. So I've always done this. And I don't feel like it's considerably slower. At my level of speed running, I think it's sometimes not about looking for like what is the absolute most fast way to do this in an ideal sense. It's like figure out what is what is what am I fastest doing <laughs> most consistently? And another huge thanks to the devs for adding in this speedrun mode that, like, is just kind of like a quality of life edition for speedrunners, where it auto-skips through text as fast as possible. It lets you just hold down the attack button to attack as fast as possible. Like, this is very helpful. Adding the timer up there and everything. Okay, so. For those of you who have not played the game before, and you should, because it's great. Usually it's not going to be as short as this, but it's great. Uh, our mission is to gather friends uh, by doing little side quests for them out in the world and meeting them all at a playground kind of in the center of this big island over here and building it up, like building up a whole cool fantasy fort on that playground in order to impress our big sister into nah. like stopping work and coming and playing with us. <laughs> this is our hero's mission. Um, we're on the tutorial island right now. And our first step is we're going to go over and try to talk to our three buddies who are on the island setting things up with us. Um, the first one we're going to go talk to has a name that's escaping me right now, which is ridiculous given how many times I've talked to him on this exact route. We'll see in a, in a second, won't we? Here's our first bud. Martin, of course. Sorry, Martin. My bad. You want me to go fetch, fetch a pot lid. And this potlet is going to be extremely important because it is how we're going to move fast. Like, you know how Link can shield sled or shield snowboard in Breath of the Wild? You can basically do that in this. And it's great. Because now that I have this, I can sled. And sledding is fast. Not just because you can, like, scoot through the world really fast, but also uh, if you 
kind of get scooting and just keep jumping, you keep kind of building speed on water or on land. And that allows you to move very quickly. Although it is tricky because it, uh, you're very subject to the whims of the geometry beneath you and the angle of it. So the difference between the world record holder and me is somebody who can sled very quickly and reliably and also do about 10 other tricks way better. <laughs> anyway, so now that we've gotten, that's our first little quest done. Our next mission like is gonna be way up here talking to another buddy named Avery. So we're gonna scoot down here, do that little race so we get some more uh, scrap to work with. You can see our number up there in the top left. Normally in the game, you'd be able to climb, but we're not going to go talk to the character who allows you to climb first because that's slower. Instead, we're going to do the much harder thing, uh, which is jumping up here, which you normally can't entirely do. Like normally you would need to be able to climb to get over this. Can't just normal jump doing that. But since we got the pot lid shield, we can kind of do our little flip hopping onto it, which gets us a little more of a boost and just lets us get up these things. Oop, hang on. Eh, there. I've gotten a lot better at that since the video showing that off before. So there's another friend we just did. We're not doing we're not doing uh, all friends here, but that's just kind of an easy one to get some quick scrap in your inventory. Now, there's a friend we're going to skip over for any percent. There's Bracelet Monkey who could unlock climbing for us. But again, much slower to go there. Instead, it's faster to jump over here, kind of do a flip and sled through here, but faster than this, swerving around and talking to our buddy. Here's the buddy we need to talk to. For their quest, we need to make a hat. We have made the hat. Quest done. Yeah, no, <laughs> the artsy cross, the fact that I made those jumps up the mountain more or less the first time, uh, <laughs> quite an improvement from what y'all saw in the video I put out. Again, I've been practicing a good bit. Uh, so, our next friend is way down there. Honestly, she'd have been the easiest one to get to, Jill. Uh, from our starting position, but just not the fastest route-wise. Uh, so we're going to use our new sledding and gliding ability to kind of get ourselves, well, maybe not the glide, but maybe the sled, to kind of launch ourselves down to collect the sword and the stone that she wants us to get. It's a stick, actually, but it's fine. And get down here and break the slimes that are harassing her. I mean, she set them up, but that's this is the adventure game we're playing here. And there's our third friend, now let's go check in with our sister and see how impressed she is. And as soon as I talk to her, that will be time for the tutorial split segment of this. So as you can see in live split there, five minutes, 21 seconds. Not great as times go, <laughs> but <laughs> this is a demonstration. We'll give it a real attempt later. So the time I got uh, in the video we put up a month ago was just under 20 minutes, I think. In my just kind of unrecorded runs on Switch since then, as I've been practicing, I think I've gotten it down to, I think like around 1620 was like the best I unofficially got to. I don't know if we'll get that good today again, but shaving like almost four minutes off of your time, <laughs> not bad in a game that like has a world record of, I think like 13, 53 or something now. <laughs> I too love Avery the Frog just kind of cartwheeling off into the ocean. Avery the Frog is very good. So we have now completed the tutorial island. We now need to go over to the big island and uh, this bigger quest that we're going to be doing, you see the splits over there on the top right, study group, cool kids, drama club. Those are three kind of like clusters of the golden path main quest that you need to do, like uh, clusters of friends that you need to do to complete the game. So we're going to do kind of them in that loosely that order, hitting a few other friends along the way that in order to unlock special uh, equipment that might help us move faster or uh, just get us a little more scrap to work with. So first off, let's scoot across here using our sledding ability badly to talk to Esther. Now, Esther's not here right now. This is one of the elements of RNG in Little Gator Game speedrunning. There are some characters in the game who have kind of like this path that they walk along just sort of uh, endlessly. And as best I understand it, they spawn on that path in a random position. So depending on like 
how quickly your run is going and when you get to them. Esther could be right here, or Esther could be all the way around on this side of the rock a little further away. Not super far away, but it will lose you a little bit of time just out of randomness. This is called Deer RNG, as far as I can tell. Deer NG. I don't know what the official term is. I need to freshen up on the lingo for this particular speedrunning community. But if you can get good Deer NG out the gate, then that's, I think, a good blessing for your run up front, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and talk to Esther. Esther's one of the friends we'll want to go ahead and grab, just because really easy scrap, really easy quick friend. You just literally have to talk to her and boom, as a friend. Now we're going to go around to find Billy the Whale. You can see I'm jumping on the water. That's, again, just like a uh, trick that they actually teach you in the game for kind of like scooting around in the water quickly while on your little shield. So I have a little bit of climbing now. I don't know if I didn't actually mention, if you complete the tutorial island without talking to the bracelet monkey character, uh, they will just come and give you the bracelet, the first bracelet for free, which is nice because you don't have to spend scrap to get it. Um, this is the only bracelet we're going to get for the entire run, which is going to make certain things a little bit tricky, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> do the all friends do the ninja hat uh, as soon as possible? Weirdly, no, Lord uh, Trident. Uh, I would have guessed that... Um, so for those who don't know, there's gear you can like unlock and craft in the game with the scrap that you collect. Some of which do actually have special properties and abilities. There is one hat that is a Naruto ninja hat, basically, that when you put it on, your gator does a Naruto run and actually does move a lot faster. And I assumed, playing the game, that, oh, this must be instrumental in uh, the run itself. And maybe it is for, like, the 100% run or something, but uh, I think just sledding around is so much faster than running in almost every circumstance that I've not seen anybody use the ninja headband for an actual run anywhere. I was surprised, too. Anyway, let's help Billy over here. Uh, and in doing so, let me teach you one of the little movement tricks that I found that uh, has helped improve my times a good bit. Uh, and it has to do with our shield sled. So uh, you can shield sled by hitting Y, basically, at any time, and you hop onto your shield. And in doing that, it also gives you a little forward boost. One thing that I had been doing when I was shield sledding uh, or initiating shield sledding all the time is I would like jump and then hit it and do a, like a little flip and start uh, sliding forward, which also works and is your only option when you're in the water because you, like you can't just start shield sledding from here. You have to jump, shield. Okay, now you can start going. But uh, I think I have found, and other runners I think have found this as well, that if you hit uh, Y first to hop on the shield and then jump, you get like a much faster forward initial burst of speed like that which really gets you moving a lot faster. So that's like a, that's a thing that I've started trying to take advantage of to uh, get up to speed faster or to just like kind of long jump a bit like this. Now we're gonna help Billy out here, but we're not gonna complete Billy's quest yet. We're gonna have to come back to that because right now we're getting Billy's help launching ourselves up here, up the waterfall and scooting over here to talk to our first cluster of friends, the study group. Yes, Super Paper Pokemon. It is speedrun day. Sort of. This is a demonstration, so my my time right now is not great. But let's start everybody's quests here. Since they're all clustered together. Scoot up the tree a little bit. Here we go. Talk to Gene. Okay. Now for our next trick, we're going to scoot off this way and do Gene's quest real fast. And this is a place where I feel like I need to just, I need to practice this stretch to kind of figure out like my uh, route approach for what order to break all these in. in uh, like, I feel like this is a place I could probably shave a good like 10 seconds off of my time when I'm like actually taking it seriously if I just like figure out a good order to do those in. I haven't made time to do that yet. But I will talk to these three because it's a really fast way to get some friends and uh, some scrap because it's three characters in one. And it's super quick and easy. You want apple slices. You want lasagna. You want chips. If you haven't played a little gator game, just take my word. That's what they all want. I'm going to scoot back here and break the rest of these things to get the magic triangle. Half a cheese sandwich that Gene wants. Now we're going to scoot down here 
Talk to Billy. Complete Billy's quest. There we go. Boom. And grab this here beach rock, which is what Suzanne back in the study group wants. Then here's the beetle Antony wants. We're going to chase the beetle, and I'm not going to stop to explain a whole lot on this one because we're kind of on the clock. Actually, I will. So this beetle, I need to chase all the way to Antony, basically, uh, in order to complete that quest. If I walk away from the beetle, though, the beetle is going to stop, not keep moving, and eventually start going backward. Aren't you? Aren't you? Yep, there goes the beetle. So, you want to be chasing after the beetle when you're really doing this for real and serious. The thing is, there's also a few other, like, friends worth talking to along the way, so we're going to try to talk to them uh, while chasing the beetle. But staying close enough to the beetle that the beetle doesn't backtrack. So we're going to start chasing the beetle. We're going to run over here. Uh, talk to... I forget your name. I always forget your name for some reason. Because they, if we have 500 scrap by now, will make for us the shuriken. Our first throwing weapon, which is going to be really helpful for certain quests we need to complete later. Then we're going to scoot up here. Still hopefully chasing after the beetle. And talk to Trish. The invisible one. Then we're going to climb up here and scoot over this way, still chasing Beetle, and break the pot that Pot Kid is in, talk to them, complete their quest, and then still hopefully chasing Beetle. Chase Beetle all the way back here to study group. So let's go back and see if we can just do all that in order correctly. There's Beetle. Okay. So we'll scoot over this way, talk to, what's your name? Sierra, of course. And I've got just enough scrap for it. This is why we did some of these friend quests along the way. Because we need the scrap to get ourselves that shuriken. Then we do a quick quest for you. Done. Boom. Okay. Beetle's still there. Great. Continue moving, Beetle. Pot kid is this way. Quickly. Break. Talk. Good. Okay. And Beetle. Don't you go away from me. All right. We're in the home stretch. Now... Beetle's going over there. We're going to talk to you real fast. And then... Beetle. I swear. Go back there. Okay. As soon as you see Antony say gotcha, we have confirmation. All right. The beetle has landed. <laughs> we should have placed Sierra on the power lines. That way she'd be Sierra on... <laughs> that's a good joke. It's not too late. No, it is too late. But that's a good joke anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we'll talk to Anthony. And uh, I feel other runners prefer to, like I've seen who have better times than me, so they're probably right, prefer to go from Suzanne up to Jean and then like kind of drop down to talk to Anthony. I kind of prefer talking to Anthony and then doing a quick hop up here to talk to Jean because then it just gives a quick faster launch right back down to Jill to kind of wrap up study group here. Like so. We're going to want to be very careful talking to Jill because it's very easy. Like, the button to talk, X, is also the button to sit down. <laughs> Which is not fast. As speedrunning maneuvers go. But that X, like, that interaction point is closer than Jill. So it is very, very easy to accidentally have a comfortable seat. But there we go. 16 minutes, 19 seconds for study group. We're on track. <laughs> yeah, sit percent. See, there's a new speedrun category. Complete the game after having sit like sat in every single seat in the world. All right, so have we done everything for study group up here now? Now, we're going to scoot off this way Doing a handful of other little quests in the direction of the cool kids. We're going to try, like, oh, I'm always so bad at scooting up this way. But now we have uh, one of our tools, right? We did the quick uh, quest for, where is it? I do have shurikens. Why are they not showing up here? Or do I have shurikens? Oh, I didn't complete the Sierra quest. Silly me. In my haste. 
forgot you gotta talk to like you talk to Sierra once to get Sierra to make the uh the shuriken. Then you do need to talk to Sierra again to actually get it. Sierra, where are you? I always get turned around. Hey Gunther. Sorry, we're you're gonna have to wait for all friends, buddy. I think it's this way. Yes. Sorry, didn't mean to forget you. <laughs> Thanks for the shuriken. Now I have a shuriken I can throw. Which is going to be very helpful for certain things. Not that, I was just throwing that for funsies. But now, let's go back. Get back on route. We have a princess to help. Okay, so, scooting up this hill, but faster than this. Just imagine this, but faster. We're gonna need to help, uh, Tiffany, I think is the name here, by breaking all of these little pots and spears and stuff, but not the pink ones. The pink ones can't actually break, so we don't have to worry too much about it, but to do this somewhat quickly, as we're coming up the hill here, we'll want to launch shurikens, break those two, but faster, then go over here, break these real quick, launch, 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 okay, get... Um, okay, I got him. There we go. And then talk to you. And then talk to Carol. And then talk to you again, and there we go. There's two friends. Now we're going to scoot down this way, kind of across the playground. Yeah. But faster. <laughs> and help out Robin real quick. There's another place where I feel like I should figure out, like, a really precise, uh approach and order of operations for breaking those, but whatever. Are memories counted for 100%? That's a good question. I don't know. All memories percent would be an interesting category, though. Do we happen to have... Is, or is there anybody in here? And there might not be. Probably isn't. Is there anybody else in here who runs Little Gator Game any category? I also ask because it's very possible that I will say something incorrect. <laughs> And I am open, like I invite correction, if that's the case. Ask Waffles, you run any percent? Hey, welcome. <laughs> All right, so these are the cool kids. Cool, too cool for like water features. We'll show them. Um, so now that we've initiated that quest, we're gonna have a few of them that we need to go help out around the world. Our first step though is gonna be zipping over here to Joe because now that we've talked to the cool kids, Joe wants to know what sort of pose he should do in order to impress them. This one will work. Now we're going to go over here. This is very important. We need to help Mr. Doddler, because Mr. Doddler is going to give us the most important tool in the run. Bubble gum. So I said earlier that this game is very good at getting you to just sort of like play and be playful, right? So the ragdoll is one of the most fun toys to play with, just for goofing. We're not going to get that in the run, but one of the other good toys is this balloon. Now this is very good by itself, just on its own. Yes, we can all agree. This is a very good thing to have. This as a toy. Woo! But more importantly, uh, there's a trick involved with this. So you can pop out of this to get like a little bump of speed or, or, or like air, right? Like you can get some air from that. So if you inflate, you can kind of jump out of uh, the balloon popping. You can do that twice to get some extra height there, which can be very helpful for getting up on top of things or getting above stuff, you, especially if you pair it with this little uh, initiate uh, shield slide move. So if you do like a flip, you can get a lot of air and distance by combining those two things. It's very good. Also, uh, one of the tricks that was discovered after the video I put out, uh, I think it was discovered by Queen Snowpy, who I hope I've said their handle right. Um, they also run this game. And they figured out something really cool that... I don't know if I really use it in this run... No, I do use it in this run once. And I, then I use it for all the times I miss a jump really badly. There's a really clever uh, bit of movement tech you can use with this uh, bubble and with this, uh, brr, 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 brr. I think also the balloons that you can get later. So 
you see how we like you see my stamina meter there right yeah like uh anytime i jump out of this that takes about half of the stamina meter which is why we can only get like two jumps uh before i can't do that anymore because it does consume stamina to jump out of it there's a way to make it work not quite that way if you inflate balloon and then manually instead of jumping just pop the balloon by hitting the inflate balloon button again it doesn't consume half the stamina bar right but if so if you do that and then jump you're still allowed to jump in midair so if you don't like <laughs> if you don't jump out of this but instead tap balloon to kind of get out of it again and then jump and then get back into bubble you fly which is very very good for uh oh i missed a huge jump and i have to climb a mountain now let me save it <laughs> so and i think there's like there's one uh there's one friend that I, at mochi i use that trick to get up to mochi really quickly because i found that that is faster for me so this bubble gum is great a plus toy now the really good like i highly recommend going and watching the uh current world record by arrow uh <laughs> at speedrun.com because this is just a delight to watch every single time i've got a shuriken yes we can all agree about that the next friend that i need to uh do a quest for here is tony who wants me to beat uh him at chess i do this by flipping the chessboard which is great but what if like what if i told you there was a way to win chess without being anywhere nearby with shurikens you can win chess with shurikens you can try this in real life. Don't do that, but you can. <laughs> if you just hit the chessboard with shurikens from here, uh, then that will do the quest just from a distance. And it's great seeing Arrow do that. Like, do all the stuff to break the stuff for Doddler. Come down and talk to Doddler. Do one boom shot and then just keep moving. <laughs> Nail the chessboard and just keep going. It's, it's fun watching... Let's players, or uh, fun watching speedrunners rather, work. So let's see this uh, balloon trick in action. I figured I should learn like a real proper term for this, mo like motion. <laughs> if we don't have lingo for this yet, there should be. So, gonna talk to Cade, then do a quick hop over here. Whoop, way too far. To talk to Marlo. Yeah, okay that but better and there's another quest done bubble jump is honestly i like bubble jump let's call it bubble jump i feel like queen snowpea should get to name whatever the like whatever this trick is i don't know if they have yet i'll have to go find out <laughs> but they found it they get to name it or they get it named after them one of the two so now we're just going to do this quest real fast this is one of the ones we need to do for the golden path Get that water turned on. Okay. Now let's scoot across the water. Grab shark teeth. Trust me, it makes sense. Look at that. You can just hop right up here. It's great. Another thing I've noticed is that people often, like, switch into, like, uh, shield sled mode, even when they're just, like, falling a distance. I think you might just move slightly faster when you are on the shield regardless i've seen other people doing it and so i do it as well i follow the crowd wait there's a seattle baseball player named Cade marlowe that's great <laughs> but okay now we're going to do a quick phoenix right as quick as possible actually you just got to choose lie truth doubt done Hop our way up the waterfall here. Turn in the teeth to the shark. That just makes sense. Here you go. And now we're gonna scoot over to help Jada, the next person who's got this water spout we need to get turned on. We're gonna help grow this plant real fast. First, we're gonna cut grass. Get some clippings, here you go. Now we're gonna scoot our way up here. Yeah. Collect some water in a bucket. No. Bad. There we go. 
Now we're going to wear the bucket. And finally, gonna break this sign, because it's blocking the light. These shurikens are really helpful. And then we're going to wait for Jada to stop being impressed. And that one's done. Can you break the sign early? No. I That would be convenient if you could, but if you try to break the sign before that stage, uh, Roy comes over and yells at you, kind of Mr. Rossetti style, the sign doesn't break and you lose time. <laughs> so, so don't do that. Got to make sure to break the sign when Roy's not looking. But now, now the cool kids can enjoy their new makeshift water park. And that's another split done. Boom. <laughs> All right. Now it's time to get ourselves over to the drama club. And first, let's go talk to Madeline here. Another bit of sort of like RNG on placement, because Madeline could be like way over here or on the other, like way over here. Mouse RNG is also <laughs> a major factor in the luck of any given run. But you just have to talk to them. And then you're done. <laughs> I agree, Wobble Scott. Like, all of this dialogue is good and funny. That's kind of the one downside of speedrunning little gator game is you are going to have to skip through the dialogue or just you're just going to have to um, not really be competing for best times. But you will be enjoying good dialogue. So who's really winning here? Funny dialogue percent. Wobble, Scott, I like this idea. <laughs> For this category, you must manually click through dialogue, reading it aloud, so we ensure you're not skimming. Is any of the di- like... So is that finding every bit of dialogue, though? Or are we allowed to skip some? I'm assuming no skipping. <laughs> Full experience percent. <laughs> and you have to do funny voices as well, that's also... <laughs> That's also required. That's that's a that's a good rule. I like this. <laughs> Every character needs a unique voice. I like your category. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's where some of the tricky jumps happen, and this is where I'm going to be most likely to start missing one. So uh, I'm going to kind of shield sled onto the spout here to get launched up a little bit further and faster and try to jump up onto that up there which is quite a lot to ask when you only have one bracelet, but uh, let's see. And then there we go. Okay, that one's not so bad. This one, though, gets me like half the time. So we're gonna try... Nah, I did it bad. But fortunately, that's where Queen Snowpea's trick comes in to save it, except you do it better. Really glad that was discovered. <laughs> that jump, that's, I think that's probably the jump I miss most uh, these days. That's what I find to now be the real hard jump trick. <laughs> A consistent way of doing that is to bubble jump twice, then, sh uh, bubble jump, jump twice, then shield flip. Oh, okay. I guess that gets you the height guaranteed, and then you can, like, if you're falling, if you're coming up just short, then you can then you can glide the rest of the way for safety, right? That's a safer trick. I, good idea, Ask Waffles. I'm gonna try that next time. Actually, what, we're not we're not on world record pace here. Let's try it now. Hang on. Okay. So if we... Huh, I'm still short on that one. Let me... Do I need to, like... There we go. That's it. That's the thing. Like, shield flip, bubble jump, shield flip, and then you're there. Okay, so just do that every time perfectly, and I'm good. Now, here is where I'm going to do a different route than I did in the other uh, than the other video, and I don't think this is a route other people use much, probably for the best, but I have found that it is consistently giving me, like, 15 second better. Like, I'm shaving, like, around 15 seconds off my time pretty consistently doing this route instead. Normally, I'd be jumping down here and launching down into Esme's cave, which is just a very fun hole-in-one thing to do from here, but instead I'm going to go kind of the opposite direction and talk to Andromeda first. 
break things badly. There we go. No, come on. There we go. That's one set. And now another set. I have the uh, faster shooting gun, but I like the range on the shurikens for that set. And now I can use this for breaking the UFO and done. Okay. Welcome, Nara Hoodie. And thanks for the seven months. Thank you all. Like, there's a lot of you who are subscribing and resubscribing and all that. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. More thanks later on to come. So uh, this is one of the few times I have to actually do some menuing to get our bubble back because uh, since we were given this space blaster, which is great, Andromeda, don't get me wrong, it's not very good for bubble jumping though, so I need to re-equip this. There we go. Got it back. Now we're going to go and fail to jump. It's an important part of the run. Then, after that, we're going to go find Twig, who is also wandering around, but since you kind of approach from way high up from a distance, and Twig is nice enough to announce themselves from a distance as well, it's uh, the RNG is not too bad on their placement. You can just kind of find where they shout from. And for Twig, all we got to do is a flip. They like flips. And who can blame them? Now we're going to scoot over here, talk to Louisa real fast, tell them the wrong thing for no good reason. Come on. Ridiculous. Here's where some more RNG comes in. Cow child RNG, because they're all wandering around <laughs> and running, and they all have their own little routes, but uh, depending on where they are in the routes, talking to all three of them can involve quite the rustling ordeal. Now here is, in the run, a place where I deviate from, the, from most of the other runners I see. A lot of the other runners do Tanner's quest here, uh, breaking the fake pots and not the real ones. Part of why I don't do this is because I'm playing on gamepad, unlike a lot of the other runners who play on PC, and uh, it's a lot easier to precisely aim with a mouse. Um, so I'm at a little bit of a disadvantage there, I, but I just, I like playing it on a gamepad and I'm better at it on a gamepad in every other way. So what I do is instead uh, skip Tanner entirely and scoot around toward Esme, just kind of hopping around here pretty quick, Qu but quicker, you know. Scooting through here, down into the cave. And we talk to our vampire buddy. Get stuck behind our vampire buddy. And now we need ice cream or froyo or whatever flavor of whatever this is. I forget which one. Text with our sister a bunch. Scoot back over here. And we have our ice cream break. Usually I want to be getting, if I can get to ice cream break by 13 minutes in the run, I usually feel decently okay. It's not like an amazing time or anything, but uh, that's a measure I use. Thank you, Donald. <laughs> and thank you, Jacotacronis. <laughs> okay, this is where I use uh, Queen Snow Peas trick and kind of deviate from the rest of the path of the run, because Mochi is right up there, and if you use that trick. You can just hop right up here, quickly talk to them, scoot right back down, and resume. Talk to Zhu. Except I need to... A trick that people have figured out is that um, if you hold down right trigger when you are talking to Zhu, uh, if you've completed the game once already and there's like a just save data for it somewhere in the game, then I think... I don't know if it bugs or what happens, but Zhu immediately like, registers you as having skipped a rock three times. I failed to do it this time, but that's a thing you can do to save, like, a second or something. Now we're going to scoot back over here. One other downside to my particular routing is that uh, not only do I have to do this tricky jump again, <laughs> but also I have to re-equip this again. So those are two downsides, and yet despite that, I again, like, save, like, 15 seconds doing it this way instead almost every time. So I don't know if it's just that it's playing to my strengths or it is legitimately faster and other people with like a uh, better technical skill could save even more time. I don't know, but uh, let's do it again. All right, now let's see if we can uh, learn from our mistakes. Almost, almost. <laughs> oh, that jump gets me every time. Let's uh, do this better here. 
Yeah. No. It's okay. This is practice. We're warming up. But now we have completed the drama club. <laughs> Scott says they forget to, forgot to reset the value on the uh, <laughs> on the zoo thing. Hey, I appreciate it. <laughs> it saves us a little bit of time. Now, we have helped all three clusters of our Golden Path buddies, and so we're going to get ourselves to the playground to uh, get everything built so we can go and impress our sister. So to do that somewhat quickly, we're going to scoot down here, jump, and if you can make it all the way there, it's very impressive looking. I almost did it. Now let's build a whole bunch of stuff. This little set of cutscenes is a great chance to sip some water. So thanks for that reminder, Lord Triton, like 12 minutes ago. <laughs> Ooh, someone asked for the, like, analyzing the beetle flight animation as a thing. We might not do it in one of the actual runs, but uh, that could be that could be kind of neat to do. Because I kind of want to do that now. Okay, uh, focus, right. Talk to everybody and build all the stuff. And last bunch. There we go. Yeah. And there's that split for the playground. Now it's just the kind of home stretch through this little uh, dream space and memories and such. Which we'll scoot through quick, so no spoilers for those of you who have uh, not played the game. Incidentally, it is on both PC and Switch. Just saying. So we need to scoot through and break all these larger uh, little cardboard pieces here. Hop up here. Slightly faster route, unless you do that. <laughs> break this one. Now, we're supposed to slide down there, but instead we're going to hop up here and kind of scoot around, which is faster. And now I'm going to use the Queen Snow Pre uh, the Queen Snow Pea trick one more time, because, like, historically I would kind of jump around like this, doing these sorts of little things. But, uh, if you can just... Whoa. If you can just... Seems a lot faster. And now the home stretch. Yeah. And time. <laughs> 41 minutes and six seconds. So that's the route. Oh, you fully intended the bubblegum balloon to have a secret functionality to double jump limited by stamina. That's great. It worked out. Great in that way, and it's awesome. I really love how much thought y'all put into movement tech in this game that doesn't really require it, but it really does add a great deal to just the fun of moving around and playing in it. It's very lovely. So that's the route we're going to be taking. Now we're going to try to actually do that, but fast. <laughs> we'll do that in a minute because the, the cutscene needs to play first before I can quit out. But that's okay. We get to see credits and hear nice music. Oh, yeah. I, for the folks who have joined us more recently, um, if it seems like every now and then I'm talking to somebody who made the game in chat, it's because we have a couple people who made the game in chat. <laughs>
So thanks, you three, Mega Wobble. Y'all done good. Oh, they just released the soundtrack as well, like a few days ago. I really love all these photos at the end too. Like, I, like uh, Carrie and I were too distracted by just whatever nonsense we were talking at the time when we were playing, but uh, just all the little continuations of little stories and seeing the characters hanging out is super cute. Okay, while that's going, let me get this... Uh... There, let's swap over to the proper any percent. Here we go. Okay. So my current best time recorded on in this anyway is 16 minutes 43 seconds, which is quite an improvement from 1953 or whatever it was in that last uh <laughs> in that last recorded thing. If I like the best I think I've ever done non-recorded unofficially just practicing is like 1620. If we can pull that off today, that'd be pretty great. Cuz I'm going to start recording these again so I can submit a new time already. It's been too long. But okay, so that's the run. Now, let's uh, back to title. Let's get ourselves a clean file. And here we go. Proper run now. Here we are, everyone. Three, two, one, go. And we scoot. You'll also notice that I jump more, well, in this early phase especially, that I do more jumping when running up a hill. I think that Gator does uh, slow down a little bit when walking up a hill, so I think jumping helps to minimize that, or at least it feels like it does. <laughs> and sometimes that's all that matters. It feels faster. I painted the car red. It has a racing stripe. For speed. Oh, they do slow down uphill uh, and speed up downhill. It's good to have confirmation on that. Thank you, Scott. All right. All that stuff we did before, but faster. That's the plan. Hopping up here. First, Martin. So we'll just walk downhill, and it does feel a little faster. Boing, boing, boing. Apologies, everyone, if I talk less and engage slightly less while... Uh, <laughs> Doing actual proper runs. You know. Now let's see how we do on the mountain climb. Pretty good so far. First try, hey! <laughs> Oh boy. Nope. They hit a tree. Not ideal. That's okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> really quick hat crafting, and there we go. Yep. Caught a little bit of the ground there. Not ideal. That's okay. Where's the sword? There we go. Now we launch this way. What we really hope is that by the time we get to Sierra, we will have 500 scrap to afford a shuriken. And honestly, for me, that's a pretty good split for tutorial. Anytime I can get like, I want at least two minutes, 30 seconds on that split generally. If I can get to like 225, I'm very happy. Like world record pace folks, it's closer to like Maybe just two minutes, two minutes ten or something. Somehow. Magicians. But okay, let's go see what our deer and G is for this particular attempt. Hey! The run is blessed. Hello, Esther. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Hmm. 
Nah, no. <laughs> the movement is really fun and neat, but when you, like, uh, accidentally hit a little bump or something, that loses your speed. <laughs> the little feeling of panic is like, ah, no, stop it. Go fast, though. Here we go. It's so fun to master, though. Praise the deer, indeed. All right. Antony, you first. Yeah. Don't hit the roots. Then Suzanne. Then Jean. Okay, now let's break these things. But kind of fast. Yeah. Yeah, I really need to figure out like a process for uh, taking these out. I haven't got a precise route that I've actually practiced. That'll save me like at least five seconds or something, I bet. Break as many of these as we can to get the scrap on the way. Then, whoop. Break, 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 break. In the All Friends run, you have, like, an actual rock stuff to throw for breaking all those little blue, uh... <laughs> those little blue monsters, which really helps. Okay, grab the beach rock. Whoop. Come on. Quick, quick, to the beetle. Now for the beetle chase. Yeah. Do we have 500? Yes, good. And we have the shuriken, because I remembered to talk to Sierra twice this time. The trick is to not start a conversation with your friends and then leave immediately. That's my little life hack. It's worked for me, I don't know. Results may vary. Ah, no. Beetle. You're still here, right? Cool, okay. I think that animation is just like the wings are going and it's just like a really cool little arcing path that just kind of conveys the feeling of like a chaotic bug flight. Just all sort of like a, on a uh, sort of spline trail from starting position to end position that you just have to be, I'm guessing, kind of within like a little bubble, like a, there's this sort of a circle of collision around the beetle that so long as you're inside it, beetle will move further forward to the next checkpoint on the uh, on its path. Something of that sort. I'm an animator, man. I don't know. <laughs> All right. This split not going as well as you can see from the little red time we got down there, but so we lost. Uh, that's about four seconds longer than the study group split usually like has taken me in the past, but that's okay. We can save it. Yeah, not not that way though. Okay, shirkin, 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 shirkin. No, no, no! Oh, that's all going bad. I don't have bubble gum yet. <laughs> there we go. Okay, saved it. Scoot through here. Break some things. Break some more things. There you go, Robin. Okay. Up, oh, up. Oh, there we go. And we help the cool kids. Uh, you don't suppose there's a way to, like, an affiliate link way to purchase the game that uh, tips the streamer a little? Uh, honestly, if you, like... No, there's not an affiliate link, but if you are going and buying this game because of me, then that's honestly, that's all I need. More people are buying the game. Mega Wobble's getting more money for their great work. Whoop, there's Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. Trust me, if more people buy this game because of me, then I'm thrilled at that outcome. But I do appreciate it. Thanks for the thought. There we go. Bubble gum. 
And I'm just going to start running toward... Hey, wow, first shot. <laughs> Most other runners don't actually run toward Tony to try to uh, ensure that they break the thing. Ah, stop jumping so far. Ensure that they break uh, the chessboard. I do it just as a safety thing because my aim's not that good. But now we help Lucas. Lucas! Just talk to him. Be honest with your feelings. I know he's cool. All right, teeth. Up. There we go. And down to Duke. We speed run the legal system, as you do. And hop up a waterfall. Talk to a shark. Let's help a plant. That's some grass. There we go. Yep. There we go. Water. Break a sign quickly. And just for practice, I'm going to keep throwing shurikens because if you're doing all friends route, you're wanting all the scrap you can get. Just If you have like a spare moment, try to see if you can get scrap from something. Anywhere nearby. No. Ah. <laughs> Save it. Not too shabby, a cool kid split. A few little mistakes, but on the whole? Okay, maybe not as good as it felt. <laughs> Still. Decent pace we're setting here. Alright, let's see how our mouse luck goes. Mouse, there you are. Okay, that's could be better, could be worse. Madeline, you are, like, in the general direction I'm trying to go, actually, so that's probably a lot better than it could be. There we go, okay. Now we jump. Okay. Nah, darn it. Don't know what I'm quite doing wrong there. But it is definitely something. That's all right, saved it. Now, down we go! To Andromeda. Break things. Pretty good. Keep breaking things. Yeah, I'll keep breaking things, Andromeda, and you tell me when to stop. Ah, come on. There we go. See, like, these little shooting segments are the parts that, uh, speedrunners who play on mouse and keyboard are gonna have an advantage at. And uh, you can really see the difference watching their uh, recorded runs because they're just just single shots sniping those things. <laughs> hey, Twig. There's a flip. Whoop, sorry. Didn't mean to go that far. There you go. Enjoy your flip. I gotta go. Ooh. Provide some emotional support and head pats. And then cattle rustle. It's a full day for Flink. Cow. Other cow. That's really good. Like, as cow luck goes, that's very good cow luck. You can have a lot worse cow luck. Take it from me. Yeah. Didn't mean to hit that rock. It's okay. Saving it. Yeah. Okay. Vampires, though. Darn, I love this game. Is it actually luck or is it based on the time you got there? I don't know. Like, maybe it is really, like, based on the time you got there, but based on what, like, more consistent, better speedrunners seem to uh, have experienced, like, they're getting... They're going to be reaching those characters who are on paths like that much more consistently at specific times. 
And I think it is fully random. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Wobble Scout says it's fully random. And if anyone would know. But I kind of like that, actually. It, uh... Yeah, no. Like that little bit of randomness, just a little pinch of it in there, as some seasoning, just makes the run interesting. Yeah, I forgot to hold the button down. Oh, no, wait, I got it right. Cool, okay. Thanks, you. Now I gotta go. Hey, at least with my route, I get more practice at this, uh, jump. <laughs> All right. What am I doing? <laughs> Being realistic, I guess. Force of habit. And yet, despite everything, <laughs> a decent split. <laughs> Which really just goes to show how frequently I miss those jumps. Yeah. Not ideal, but that's okay. We can save it. Yeah. There we go. This is such a fun game to speedrun. I never thought I'd be the kind of person who actually would enjoy speedrunning, because I just enjoy the vanilla experience of my favorite game so much, but this one's just fun to move in. At some point on some Sunday, let's do a stream of trying to not like speedrun Hollow Knight, like actually like trying to get times or anything, just trying to get like those achievements for beating it like in less than five hours or 10 hours or whatever. That could be fun. Let's scoot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not great movement, but getting the job done. Yeah, trees. Yeah, off target. Not good. No. Save it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then up here. Nope, don't hit the thing. And we go up. Oop, did it wrong a couple times, that's okay. There we go. And down the hill. Hey, there you go. Better than my last recorded time. I'll take that. Still not like the best I've ever done like in practice and stuff, but hey, better than I've done with live split running. So hey, that's a fine start. That's a fine start. We can do, we can, we can do better than that here. <laughs> that's an excellent first attempt though. Hey, welcome, Ashton. Hey, thanks for the seven months as well. <laughs> you know, kind of the nice thing of actually, like, kind of having to watch this whole cutscene each time before you can, like, kind of start it going again is it's a nice little cool down, sort of like a, okay, all right, take a breather, get some water, like, all right, unwind a bit, get ready for the next one. <laughs> Has anyone here ever speedrun a Metroid game? I haven't, but... Chad, have any of you speedrun a Metroid game? Hey, 
Hey, it's a Dan Jones. Hello, Dan. We just got a pretty decent time. Not the best I've done. Like, I've done better in practice unrecorded, but this is a very solid time as a first attempt. Hey, buddy. Oh, you've been lurking. Hooray. <laughs> Could I use a mouse just for the shooting segments? I probably could, honestly. Like, just do a quick, like, hot swap between, like, okay, mouse, 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 shoot, 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 okay, back. Like, especially for the ones where I don't need to be, like, worrying too much about movement in the moment. Maybe that'd be a thing worth trying sometime. Just for funsies. Or I should just learn to properly do it on mouse and keyboard, but I don't know. Just a controller is more comfy for me. Even so, all right. 1639, this is an excellent starting point. I think we can do better. Let's give it a try. Let's also do a reset here, because it doesn't always automatically do it. There we go. Okay. Next attempt. Here we go! I so appreciate being able to just have a name auto pop in there without having to type it in. I did do some practice runs just like days before that speedrun update. <laughs> so. Scott and Robin both. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that update. That's just like really just uh It's made uh continuing to speedrun oh, geez, rough start. Just continuing to speedrun Little Gator Game, just uh, all the easier and more fun. Yep. Oh. Hello, Martin. Me again. In my headcanon, this is also still happening in World. Gator has also gotten into speedrunning. And he just has a bunch of really good friends who are cool with setting up the course over and over. <laughs> Good friends. There we go. Now up here. Nope, nope, not as solid that time. That's okay. Nah. Yep. Saved it. There we go. Not too bad. Yep. Okay, scoot through here. Oop, don't bounce off of everything. Make hat. That's much better. That's what you want to see right there. Boom. Right to the sword. Stick. You know. Yeah. That's honestly considering we made some bad jumps up front. That's still not an awful split, really. <laughs> you know what else makes this? Uh oh, less good deer RNG. That's okay. We'll make it work. Another thing that makes this just fun to run is like the music is nice and chill and cute. The sound effects are all really pleasant and enjoyable. You're not just like audi like audio wise driving yourself or anyone else who lives with you insane. <laughs> we fly. To the study group. That's all right. Where we're going, we don't need good deer NG. 
is gonna go great anyway. It's a rule of speedrunning. Every single world record on speedrun.com has the runner at some point in it saying, oh, messed it up. Like, <laughs> there goes that run. And then they get world record anyway. Every time. It's a rule. Oop, almost missed those. See, this is why I need to figure out a route for these specifically. <laughs> yeah, no. Eh? Lasagna. Chips. And we're off! Break things? Oh, don't go that far. Break, 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 break. And go! Talk to a whale! Get a beach rock! Remember to talk to Sierra twice! I know you're chasing a beetle. Take the time. There we go. Shuriken! I go! Sorry about your chair! You're invisible! Yeah. Nope, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Good enough, that's alright. Beetle's still here, right? Right, Beetle? Yeah, okay, cool. Suzanne! I found a rock. Wait a minute. Go, 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 go over there. Okay. I'll keep this going with weird trivia. The item get jingle changes to match the region's music. What? Like, the key of it changes? Does the key of it change to, like, stay, like, in key with the music that's going on? I'd never noticed that. What a great little touch. Oh, no, the whole jingle's unique. What? That's wonderful. I have to start listening for that and climbing better. Both things. Thank you for the trivia like that. That's great. I love little touches like that. The, those tiny little polished touches that no one's gonna like likely actively notice. Well, that's like my uh, so that's my best uh, of that split ever somehow, <laughs> or best recorded one, I should say. If, it, if you get that rainbow color like that, that means, whoa, that's the fastest you've ever done that part. Nah. All right, here we go. Now he's good up here. Quick, quick, quick. Come on, go. No. Don't walk on the railing. Keep sledding. Okay. Break things, break things, break things, break things. There you go. Now up. Oop. Need more stamina, buddy. There you go. Another interesting little bit with the movement is that, uh, though it can be tempting to be jumping all the time, if you're in the air, you cannot talk to characters or interact with them. So, like, uh, you do want to be on the ground and not like sledding or jumping as soon as you get close to uh, your friends to talk to them as quickly as possible. So you do sort of have to remain in control of your movement and yourself in that way as best you can. Here we go. Whoop, nope. Bonk. Break all the roof monsters. Get bubble gum. Here we go. That ought to do it. Okay. No, too far. <laughs> Sorry, Cade. Hang on. I can save it. <laughs> I was speed running too fast. You understand. There we go. How long did I practice this? I've been practicing this... Uh, quite a bit in the last couple of months because uh, while moving internationally, like my PC, all the consoles and all that were all like just in a warehouse somewhere waiting 
to get in a truck to drive literally just 140 miles. <laughs> and so while I was waiting and all that time, I just had a Switch, which this game is also for. So I spent kind of like a lot of evenings just kind of practicing little Gator game speed runs. Which honestly was really, like, mentally helpful as well. Like, moving to a new place, uh, not being settled into home, not having your stuff. Like, there's a lot of chaos and newness to living in a new place without any of your familiar things there. So having, like, a really familiar game to be playing and sort of the ritual of playing a game over and over quickly and trying to, like, refine it, like, was very grounding in a way. It was very nice to have that. So, so just another thing that I'm kind of grateful to this game and uh, Mega Wobble for. It's been very helpful. Yeah. Okay. Break, 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 break. I've seen folks get positioned up here waiting to talk to Jada, and I think it's just so you're, like, as close to your next direction of movement as possible. It's not like it saves that much time, but... Yeah. No, where am I going? Eh, good enough. Sort of. How was that one? I wonder. I don't feel like that was my fastest. But... Yeah, okay, not my, like, fastest of that split ever, but still pretty good. Yeah. Mouse. Where's Mouse? Good enough. Madeline. Okay, come on. Up here. Now let's do jumps, but good. Okay. No. I forgot to do the last thing. Ah, uh, one of these times, everyone. No, land. Actually land. Get your stamina back, buddy. There we go. One of these runs, we'll get it. And that is what you know. That's going to be... That's going to be a PB waiting to happen. Maybe after this run concludes, we'll uh, run back out to this spot and uh, just practice doing that jump a couple times kind of by itself. Just to sort of like get a little muscle memory, feel it out. Probably worth trying. I really gotta compliment Andromeda. Andromeda, like, everyone has done a great job setting up a fun fantasy course for our little guy here. The, uh... Why are things not equipped where they're supposed to be? No. There we go. Uh... <laughs> Andromeda built a floating UFO. That requires some engineering know-how. For someone you don't even know. <laughs> Try navigating down using the arrow keys instead? Hmm. Whoop. There's you. Yeah. Hang on. No. Come back here. Ah. Oh, cow. Other cow. There we go. This will definitely not be a top-notch split, but that's okay. Gonna make it work. Ah, or hit a tree. One of those two things. Yeah. One of the game's devs is doing some real-time tech support for someone who just bought the game in the stream chat. <laughs> Which is super sweet.
All right, let's see. Nope, that's not how you do it, little gator. No. No. It's all right. We have the queen snow pea trick, and boy. It's not going to make up for all the lost time, but what a save, though. Without that trick, like, missing jumps like that would just be a run, a complete run ender. You just have no other option. Wah. <laughs> you do have to actually equip the thing. I've gotten all distracted now. That's okay. This one wasn't the one. We'll still complete it just for practice. All right. There it is. Okay. Whew. Still just barely clear it. I really need to practice that jump. That's the one that's getting me. Yeah, that was not a good version of this split. <laughs> nope. That's all right. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of comical flubs in this one. May all your flubs be comical. <laughs> Slapstick percent. <laughs> All right, let's see. Now here, you know what? We'll, uh, rather than uh, completing, the, we'll go ahead and like reset this one, just because that way we're also not uh, watching the whole end credits and doing the whole thing. But, hold up, let me uh, reset here. We can go uh, practice that jump a couple of times, because now I'm curious to see how much better we can get at it. Where is it? It's this way. If you're enjoying watching this and thinking like, oh, I want to try doing this myself, uh, go join the Little Gator Game uh, Discord and uh, go look into their speedrunning channels because like the runners there have like uh, created some really helpful resources. Like someone's created like a full overhead overworld map of the entire island and showing like kind of where all the friends are so you can kind of figure your route out and stuff like that. It's real super helpful. Uh, that's probably just, like, good advice for anyone who's getting into speedrunning anything. Just go find the Discord where the ru other runners are. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Sled into it. Yeah. Overshot a little bit, but... That one seems to work best by doing a, uh... Like, a... Bubble jump, flip, bubble jump, flip. It's this one. This is the one that's getting me each time. And maybe it's to do with, like, the precise timing of the bubble jump. Because, like, I don't know if it's better to, like, float a little bit and then press the button. Or uh, at what point in the jump it's best to do the bubble jump. I think it might be, like, almost immediately. That might get you the most air. Hmm. Hold the bubble a little bit longer for the height. Okay, let's, let's, let's try that. <laughs> or not use the bubble at all. Alternatively, have you considered that? <laughs> I'm a speedrunner. Okay, here we go. Well, maybe not that long, but you know. Okay, let's see. No, that's too long. Thread the needle. More trivia. From the depth of the uh from one of the developers the camera item lets you clip the camera into geometry and it's an entirely intentional exploit and there's an easter egg only visible using it amazing <laughs> have people found it or is it still unfound because <laughs> that's great people have found it okay good <laughs> that's super cool i love it let's see here uh if i That almost works better for me, just sort of like a quick, like... Uh. Hmm. Is 
just gotta figure out my precise way of doing it. Let's see. I don't even need a second flip there if I get that timing right. Like, bubble out of the first jump real early to get the extra height. Uh, flip and then bubble again and then just hop right up there. Okay, yeah, that seems to work for me. Like, kind of doing the bubble, flip, bubble, flip. And then just hoping. Yeah, I need to not bubble, like, jump out of the bubble quite so fast, though. That is what's getting me, I think. I'm not getting enough height out of it. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Just need, like, a split second longer uh, getting height from the bubble before popping it and jumping out. Do got a bubble twice, though. That's important. <laughs> okay, let's give this another try. Bubble flip, bubble flip, pray. Yep, that's the... <laughs> that's the trick. Okay. <laughs> it's been too long since I heard that. <laughs> Click both sticks to do a quick turnaround. Wait, this is a gator, not Katamari. <laughs> That's what this has been missing. <laughs> Some well-meaning cosmic parental critique. <laughs> Remember to hold uh, the jump button. It affects the height of the jump, too. Oh, that's also making a difference, isn't it? Yeah. Because I've not been... Uh, I don't know if I'm holding A every time I do the jump. Good advice. <laughs> it really is extra helpful having... Literally, the person making the game right there being able to give you pointers. <laughs> I recommend it. Okay. Attempt number three. Here we go. Kudos to whoever animated Little Gator. Like, that waddle walking is delightful. And the fact that Gator is way more more coordinated and faster swimming in water than walking is just inspired. <laughs> I love it. Okay, here we go. Boing. Walk down the hill, because you go a little faster that way. Sure is nice knowing that for a fact. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. Here we go. Let's climb a mountain. Ah, almost. Ah. There we go. There we go, okay. Not too bad. I'll take that. Make hat. Yes! Uh, oh, almost. <laughs> almost threaded that needle perfectly. I very rarely do. Feels great when you pull it off, though. Launching yourself right down to the sword. And boom. All right. Respectable. Yeah, at my level of my at my current level of speed running, 225 for the tutorial is always something I'm happy about. 
All right. You know something else that might actually be helpful to do? Uh, uh oh, bad DRNG. Is uh, for me to fiddle with my camera settings a little bit more. Uh, get some slightly faster camera turning. On the one hand, it'll make my uh, sniping with ranged weapons worse. But uh, getting yourself kind of like pointed and direct. Okay, not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Pointed in direction you're trying to go a little bit faster can sometimes help a lot with like precision movement. Go, Flink. Yeah. Suzanne. Stop studying. Okay, let's see. Break all these things, break all these things. Slide down here. Look, okay. This is almost like having a route. I'm getting there. <laughs> I don't even know if it's a good route, but I... I'm not missing nearly as many now, and that's nice. And I haven't shown up to Sierra with less than... Nah, less than 500 scrap yet today, which always feels good, because... <laughs> when that happens... It's sort of an oh no situation. I need to find things to break somewhere nearby so I can buy this thing. And now the beetle's gotten away. Hello. Okay. Hello, Billy. Get the beach rock. Scoot. Beetle. Yeah. Got just enough. Talk to Sierra twice. Come on now. Twice now. There we go. Why do I keep forgetting to talk to Sierra twice? Whoop. You're invisible. Beetle. Whoa, Beetle. Beetle, you still here? You are. Great. Okay. I'd rather turn around and lose time than... Find out that Beetle bailed on me. Okay. Quick. Okay. So far, so good. You know, quick plug, by the way, if you're enjoying, if you've enjoyed kind of like the, uh, the video I did, uh, with my first speedrun on YouTube or kind of the way the stream started where we were sort of just like walking through the route a little bit, or just, you enjoy getting to see people sort of learning speedruns, uh, uh, Jay Hobbs and, uh, Kizaron with, uh, GDQ do a kind of show on that channel called, um, uh, the first, oh, what's it called? I forget the name of the show they do, where they just sort of, like, try doing a run for the first time together. Or, like, like racing against each other. The first step. That's it. That's the thing they do, I think, like, once a week. Just trying out a different game each time. Uh, and they're delightful. Like, the GDQ folks are great. So, highly recommend checking that out, if you haven't yet. And they have the VODs up on uh, the GDQ YouTube channel as well. Also, you should check out GDQ. I should have started with that. GDQ would probably make sense as the first thing to recommend. <laughs> no. Don't rail walk, buddy. Over the rail. Stay on the shield. Go fast. Yeah. Thank you, Robin. Making okay time here. Scoot. Find Joe. There's Joe. Joe. Do the pose. Thank you. 
Here we go. Break, 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 break. Bubbles. Thank you. Yeah, chessboard, 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 chessboard. There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, gotta stop doing that extra flip just from muscle memory. Lucas! Jacques. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I think like uh, that'll from here on. One of the things I'll need to really practice is getting my muscle memory down for jump height and uh, jump height and. Like, uh, bubble jumping. Doing it right here, though. Get some extra scrap just because... pace, I think. Yeah, it'll be a little close. All right, on pace. Madeline! There you are. Okay. Time to learn jumps. Okay. Hey, that'll do it. I'm learning. Andromeda! Fire! And these. Now I'll swap back to that. Cool. Find Twig. Twig. There you are. Flip. No oh boy. Watch it. <laughs> I'm always so paranoid about falling off of that ledge. I've never done it. It just always, like, anytime you feel yourself bounce in that direction, there's this little moment of, like, ah, panic. <laughs> cow. Last cow child. Okay, over this way. Careful. Don't overshoot. Or hit trees. Come on. If we honestly make that big jump twice in this attempt, then that's going to be a recorded PB for the split easily just by default, because I don't know if I've ever <laughs> nailed that jump twice in any of my attempts. <laughs>
Hey! Sub-13 ice cream break, though. Always a good sign. Mochi! Shoo! Oop. Nope. Too early. There we go. You don't really save time if you do it wrong. <laughs> okay, let's get our bubble re-equipped up here. Eh. Gotta menu faster. Whee! Okay. All right, there we go. We got us a run. <laughs> that's a pretty enormously better split. <laughs> so that's how much time you save when you don't fall. Pretty much exactly that much time. <laughs> Yeah, we could have a new recorded PB here pretty handily if we don't just botch anything too bad on the way. <laughs> yeah, pro tip, falling off a mountain will lose you time in most scenarios. <laughs> Experts agree. Hey! PB split on that, uh, one as well. Good sign. We might be able to, uh, Kind of replicate that, uh, 1620, more or less. Which I'd be quite pleased with. Yeah. And this little split's going pretty well, too. We got it for sure. Let's go. In fact, better still, that is definitely a PB by far. 1612, baby. Actually, I think it was 1613. I think, like, I'll have to check that. I think the, uh, because it looked like the time in game and the time on the uh, on the thing down there was slightly different. I th I'm wondering if this is recording a uh, different thing or if it's set to a different time. I'll have to look at that. It looked like it was a slight desync between the two. Whatever. The in game timer is the one that's like fact. The live split thing is just for like helping get a little bit more added data. But yay! Woo! Feels good. And thanks for the hydrate and stretch reminders. Good idea. <laughs> ah. Stretches. Oh, does that put me in 13th place on the leaderboards? Awesome. All right, yeah, I'll have to go ahead and submit this run. <laughs> Tell you what, here, well, I'll, uh, real quick, we'll do just a quick, like, uh, breather. If anyone wants, like, I'm going to go 
run to the washroom, grab some water and stuff. If anyone needs, uh, if anyone needs to get themselves a snack or something. And then if y'all like, we can uh, make an attempt at a all friends run, or we'll do like a demo of the all friends run and then try an attempt at that. See how that goes. That could be fun. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run to the washroom and get some water, and then we'll be right back with uh, trying another run here. So let me uh, get some music going and sw switch you all over here. BRB, all of you. All right, all right, I return. Hope you've all gotten yourself a beverage of choice or something. <laughs> okay, with some of these requests, analyzing the beetle animation, we can still do that a little bit more in depth on sort of the demonstration but analyze the animation of Dan winning. I, d I don't, uh... <laughs> I don't know if there was an animation for that so much. Oh, thank you, Robin, for... Uh, yeah, no, I'm really excited. So for those of you who are, might be just joining, uh, we've got a new personal best for the Any% percent run recorded here at 16 minutes 13 seconds, I think, was the in-game time. <laughs> Thank you. 
which I'm very pleased with. I don't think I've ever gotten sub 16 before. Uh, and I feel like if I can get, I feel like my go like personal goal, if I can ever get it down to around 15, no, or around 14 minutes. No, no, let's say 15. If I can get it down to around 15 minutes, I'll be pretty happy. Cause like world record is just under 14. And I feel like I can do that. It'll just take like a really good run and getting the practice down. So, so the in, so the uh, uh, Yen was asking like it was like 16:12, yeah. Like uh, so the live split timer said 16:12. I wanted to double check the accuracy of that because the in-game timer I think was saying 16:13. Uh, so there might be a slight desync between those two. Uh, I'll have to double check that later on. But in-game time is the the uh, in-game timer is the one that I think is the more trusted one in these cases. And it could be that, like, my... Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to double-check that. But, uh... Oh, we got it recorded, at least. So, hey. But let's sl set up our little demonstration. And let me show you how all friends go. All right, just doing a little bit of setup here. Y'all just enjoy the very good Hyper Potions <laughs> remixes, as I do. Where do I think I can make the most improvement at this point? Uh, some of it will be down to just like consistently making the the uh, kind of those bigger jumps and not missing anything. A lot of it is down to uh, a lot of the best time saves I think will be in refining my uh, shield sledding across the landscape. There's lots of times where I would have to like hop off the shield and back on to get a to get like some momentum going again or I would bonk into trees or I would uh uh have to just sort of like navigate a little bit more carefully instead of trying to like really just full speed sled from one location to another it's uh like despite it like not being at all a hard game to play the uh movement tech in the game does have a lot of like a really high skill ceiling so you can really get like extremely fast using those things once you really get the hang of it and also there's also RNG involved, but like, <laughs> in terms of movement, uh, that's what that's what it looks like to me is the biggest difference between me and like the uh, world record competitive runners right now. And I think that they're like, a lot of those runners are people who speed run a lot of games. They're very experienced and practiced. Uh, I don't expect to ever be entering the top five <laughs> times on this game or anything, but uh, I think I can do better than what I've done so far. It's possible. I have it in me. Well, let's see here. Oh, so I missed my last Patreon stream, so I never got to ask, how did the uh, move go? All moved in yet, or are things still chaotic? We are moved in, things are still chaotic. There's still a lot of unpacking and stuff to do. Like, I think there'll be a pretty long tail to all of that post-move settling in and all that. But on the whole, we're in, we're set up to where we can record and stream again, which is nice, because boy, I missed that. Uh, <laughs> so the worst of it is over. And moves, like, moves suck. A move that goes perfectly still sucks. <laughs> and no move goes perfectly. Anyway. Alright. We're back in. So. Not going for records this time. This is just, again, demonstration of the All Friends route, which is... Similar, we're still going to be doing those clusters of groups kind of in the same order. Tutorial, study group, cool kids, drama club. 
but our route itself is going to have to be quite different because uh, for all friends, one of the biggest uh, new factors and challenges you have to consider is you need a lot of scrap uh, because you have to get all of the bracelet upgrades from Bracelet Monkey to uh, like get that friend added to the tally. Each one of those is 500 scrap. You also have to buy everything from Roy's Junk for Trash store, which is which requires over 3,000 scrap, I think. So you got to collect a lot along the way. And you also need to beeline it to where you run into Roy as early as possible, because once you run into Roy and take Roy's quest, that makes it to where you can knock over trash cans to get scrap from them, too. Uh, it, like, turns them into a source of scrap, which you want to do early so you can be hitting the rest of them quick. Uh, so the route will ultimately be pretty different. Let me demonstrate. So this will be the same, obviously. As a little intro. Scooting through here. I love that this little, like, name we came up with for our gator, just combining Link and Floyd into Flink, turns out to mean a whole lot of things in other languages that sort of work as a speedrunner name. <laughs> it's pretty delightful. But okay, so the start of All Friends Route here will be, uh... From the very beginning, much the same. We're going to go to Martin first because Martin's going to get us the shield, and the shield is what lets us go fast. So we go up here. Martin chat. Grab pot lid. Yeah, I need to just walk down that hill. That's a lot faster than jumping. Now here's where it deviates pretty much immediately. Instead of sliding down that hill to uh, do this little speed challenge to get some scrap from that, we need more scrap than that. So we're gonna launch through here, break these, and do this speed challenge first. Then stop, turn around. Okay, got a bunch of scrap from that. Back up the hill. And hit this one. And then just keep going. As we climb this one, there's a lot of pots. So, all right, bef let's, before we keep going, you can get scrap from lots of different things. You get a lot of it for uh, completing quests for friends, usually. Uh, you get a little bit, like varying amounts of it for breaking the little uh, cardboard monsters out in the world. You get more of it from breaking the little pots like that, and you get the most of it from breaking the treasure chest uh, items. So there's a lot of pots here. So anytime we've got like a pot that's like right here, let's go ahead and break that. Get some scrap. It does make it very easy to fall off up here, though, as you can see. <laughs> so I may not go for that particular one. There's probably some other easier ones we can go for here. Instead. We are going to go around here, though, and be a little risky to break that, though, because that's a treasure chest that has 81 in it. We want that. It does make for an easier jump up here, though, to help Gerald. So there's a friend. I'm gonna go up here, because here's another pot. Grab that. This time we are going to drop down to talk to Simon. We are gonna get Ragdoll. We're not gonna use it, but we are gonna we are gonna talk to Ragdoll. Now, there is Bracelet Monkey down here. Bracelet Monkey is technically a friend, but uh, as we have seen, if I complete the tutorial without talking to Bracelet Monkey, Bracelet Monkey comes and gives me that first bracelet for free and doesn't charge me 100 scrap for it. So we're doing that. Now, here's a bit of movement tech I've not figured out yet that I've seen better speedrunners do. Uh, I think I've seen, like, It's Bites and Arrow and others do a sort of, like, sled into this hill and manage to, like, I think use the tree or something to launch themselves up. I'll be honest, I have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> or how they're managing to, like... Oh, that's what you do. I sort of, like... How does that work? They're, like, boosting... That's, like, consistent, too. How does that work? 
the tree has got to... It's got to be something that the tree is doing that's, like, forcing you up this little spot here, I think. I think it is, like, collision that would normally be, like, pushing me away from it going up the hill here. And also from the tree here. I'm basically, like, sandwiching myself between them and together they're sort of pushing me up this little ledge here. That's great. Okay. I used to, like, instead just flip myself back up here and then do my usual method of getting over here just because it was, like, the only one I could figure out. But now? All right, we'll talk to Simon, then do that, because that's way faster. Good to know. I've learned something. Quick hat. There we go. Now, rather than launching ourselves across to go down to get the sword, we do need to talk to Simon again to get Ragdoll and complete Simon's quest. So, ha, Simon's quest. Uh, and now we're going to, have to do another slightly tricky jump. There we go. And Simon. And this way we also get to see a funny scene. <laughs> Can't skip it or anything, but, you know, good scene. There we go. Ragdoll powers. Which I would use, but, like, I can't afford the 600 scrap it would take to buy it. So instead, we're just gonna launch! There we go. Maybe break a couple of these on the way just to get a little extra scrap, because every little bit counts. Let's break these four. There's Jill's quest. Now there is one more tricky jump and character that I've got to, uh... uh okay, that is... That worked the first time, it usually doesn't. That's a really hard jump to do <laughs> without being able to climb. But I do need to talk to Franny here. Complete that quest. Okay, that's the last friend on Tutorial Island. Let's get off Tutorial Island. There goes Avery. Out to sea. Now, I've seen some uh, some runners, like previous uh, record holders, go over here to uh, break uh, the pot here and also sort of like launch themselves up here to break this chest, which gets a lot of scrap. Current world record holder has not done that, though. And it does make sense to just kind of like not backtrack like that. Instead, we're going to go up here, get bad deer in G, but that's okay. Hello, Esther. And now we're going to go straight this way, because there's another chest right here. Get that. And we're going to talk to Zhu. Now we have a rock, which is good, because we need, do need ranged weapons for various things. Current world record holder for uh, all friends, which is its bites again. Go figure. Uh, comes over here and breaks some stuff for extra scrap, so I shall do the same. This part's tricky, and I don't feel like I've figured out how best to do it. Getting up the street. Okay. I can do it, but it's not uh, consistent with my climbing ability. Okay, so Robin has a guess for the sledding up the hill between the tree and the wall thing. I think sledding changes your collision box. It might explain why you can get pushed up when you sled while wedged between two objects. That, that tracks. That makes sense. <laughs> Thanks for the explanation, guess. I, uh... <laughs> I'm really actually amazed at how, like, consistent that was to do without any practice. So, like, I'm gonna have to start integrating that into my strategy. But, uh, yeah, now we'll climb up here because we are scooting across to get ourselves toward Junk for Trash. Not like directly there, we'll stop to do quests for some buddies first. Whoop, can't miss that. Throw some rocks. Now the nice thing about the rock as opposed to the shuriken, the rock doesn't throw as far, but it does bounce, which can be very helpful for certain things. Uh, now we're going to just a, a completely different part of the uh, map than we would go to in any percent. We're gonna climb up here because there's a bunch of scrap up here. And we're going to use a trick for climbing up a high thing that you have to do this early on when you've only got one bracelet, which is to sled sled into a hill and then jump as soon as you kind of start sliding up it. Jump and then manually like, like stop sliding so that you can start climbing, but way higher up, which is what's going to allow us to get to the top of that there. So do that and then jumps. Boom. Got it. I would try to sled into that into that chest to break it in one hit instead of three, 
But uh, nine times out of 10, when I try that, I go too far and fall down the ledge and lose a whole ton of time. So we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna throw some rocks. Poorly. <laughs> this is the downside of rocks as opposed to shurikens. Doesn't throw as far, more arc. But now we get to do the very fun stunt, especially if we can get it to work. So um, you can not you can barely see him because of uh, the fog of war here, but uh, Tony's down there. And I'm going to win chess from here. Ha ha! <laughs> it feels so good to do. <laughs> but yeah, now let's uh, let's break some more things and start collecting litter, which is worth lots of scrap. So we're gonna go along the coastline here. Whoops! Grab as many cans as we can. Break some things while we do it. Just scrap, scrap, scrap. Need all the scrap. Grab all the things. Okay, cool. Now we're going to slide up here. Break this also, because it's a chest. High value. Talk to Roy. And in doing so, now these can be knocked over. Now this particular one has some other tra like litter around it that it could... Um, no thanks. Has some other litter around it to collect. Most of them don't. Most of them you just hit them once, knock, you'll knock them over, you'll get some scrap, move on. Now, I usually go this way from here to go straight to Mr. Doddler. I've seen current world record holder, its bites go this way instead. Uh, or no, actually, no, they go like, where did they go? They go like out here. They go, there's something to break the direction they go. I think they go this way. They go back this way and they like break a couple more things along the way which I think basically ensures that not only do they get a little bit more scrapped as they go, but if Joe is up here this far on Joe's path, then they'll spot Joe <laughs> and be able to just sled down from there instead of having to go up a hill. Don't know if that's faster or not, but, uh... You don't even actually need to talk to Joe either. I don't think that's faster. I actually still am of the opinion that the way that I've gone is faster, even though you get slightly less scrap doing it. Let's go straight, direct. Also, knock it over. Get scrap. Okay, well, we've already won chess from long range, so we don't have to do that this time. Now I can just take our gum and go. Talk to Cade. Talk to Marlowe. Talk to Cade again. This time we're not going to scoot out toward Lucas like we've been doing at any percent, though. This time we're scooting out this way. Breaking this. Moving on. To get ourselves up here, where... I'll be honest, I talk to them so infrequently, I don't remember the name. We're going to find out. Going to break all these things. Leland. Yes. I always see everyone select this option. I think this might be the option that gets you the most scrap back. Not 100% sure on that. Gonna break this too, just for good measure, and keep on going. All friends is great, you talk to everybody. It's the run that feels like the most in the spirit of the source material. Next pepperoni. We're gonna do this thing, just gotta hit the rock monster things. That is the downside of all friends. For me, requires a lot more precision aiming for tasks like these. And one more. There we go. Boom, all right. Now, we're gonna grit, get some more scrap on our way to Pot Kid. And conveniently, there's also a lot of pots around Pot Kid, go figure. Full of scrap. Hey, kid. And now we're gonna go initiate conversation with the study group. Knocking over a trash can. On the way. Oh, does the third option net you more? Because it's slightly more dialogue? Oh, but maybe they don't do it because it's slightly more dialogue? That would make some sense. I like that. That's good to know. I might do the third option then from now on because, like, for 
for its bites and arrow and others, like <laughs> saving the frames of that slightly shorter conversation makes a difference. For me, it's more important that I am sure I have enough scrap when I get to where I'm going. Good knowledge though. So, I, like, Scott, since you're here, I'm super curious. How difficult is it to avoid not just, like, coming into, like, on a Discord, coming into conversations, and anytime people are theorizing about how things work or how, like, uh, various systems might go or are guessing at, like, approaches you could take, how difficult is it to avoid not just going in and info dumping literally all the knowledge you have about your own game? Because <laughs> that seems like that would be very difficult. Now, before we go any further, it's important we stop because <laughs> I did that a few times around launch, actually. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be able to help myself, so <laughs> I don't blame you. So we need to talk to Bracelet Monkey, though. Bracelet Monkey's up here, and this is where I am, again, super grateful to Queen Snow P for figuring out this trick. Because everybody else, like, uh, who I've seen who has much faster times than me, to be fair, actually climbs the tree sort of legit. Not me, though. Me, I'll just fail to do my trick. There we go. All right, now we got us a bracelet. And now, let's go see you. The nice part about All Friends is that you get infinite stamina in it, which makes a lot of movement and tricks and stuff a lot easier. <laughs> Eva, that's your name, of course. All right, so we've done that. Now I think it's time to start breaking these, and we have a ranged weapon now, which is nice. Still need to like kind of figure out a more optimal strat, but this is where the rock is also a little bit better than the shurikens, because like the rock's bouncing around, it's hitting multiple targets and stuff. That's quite nice and convenient. Meh. But okay, let's go talk to Lunch Bunch. Solve their food dilemma. Now we go back this way, break all the things. Okay, now we're gonna talk, or well, other, yeah, sorry, words. Now we're going to, wait, are there, I didn't know there was more than one beach rock. I've never seen that beach rock over there. <laughs> I always knew there was one there. Are there way more beach rocks? <laughs> That's great. There's a ton of beach rocks. Oh. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of beaches. There's probably a lot of rocks too, huh? That's great. I've learned something. Okay, so yeah, we're not going to complete Billy's quest this time because we're going to do a real stunt jump if we can pull it off. Uh, so we're going to try to launch ourselves up break that to get a little extra scrap. And we're gonna try to sail across and scare the bird out of the tree and land ourselves right near Trish, the invisible pony. Also breaking a pot with some rocks in the air if we can pull it off. That usually doesn't happen, but <laughs> it's fun to try. Let's see how it goes. Break that. Now we sail. Scare bird. Rocks. Did I hit it? Nah. <laughs> Feels good if you can do all of them in one go. There we go. <laughs> now let's go talk to ninjas. We'll initiate this timer. Get a shuriken made for the occasion. Not use it. Actually, we should switch to using the shuriken. Shuriken's gonna be a little more effective for some of this. Did I hit it? I don't know if I hit it. I think I hit it. And there we go. Okay, cool. Complete that. Now, we also have to do Romeo's quest here, and unfortunately that does mean we have to do kind of one slight friendship blunder here. We do have to actually thwack Oscar instead of going and talking to them. It works out. They're okay with it. You do feel a little bit bad, but... 
this I think I, if we still have any speed runner, like if we still have any little gator game speed runners in here, this, in my opinion, is the real opportunity for the save the animals, save the frames. <laughs> do we talk to Oscar or do we hit do we hit Oscar with a shuriken? This is my vote. This is the opportunity <laughs> for save the animals. Uh, we're currently, uh, I'm, we're not like doing a proper run of it, but I'm kind of demonstrating the route, but we're going to try out an all friends run, which I have not got a recorded time of yet. So this will be the first time. Nah. Well, not this, but when we try it later. <laughs> of course, you thwack Oscar, a real gator knight would not hesitate. <laughs> Don't take advice from Zote on friendship or most things. Uh... All right, now we're going to do this little challenge here, sledding down to pick up a beach rock and also get some scrap along the way. Beach rock. Also, we need to talk to Billy. Almost forgot. Complete the Billy quest. Otherwise, Billy's not going to be there to launch us in other places where we really need Billy's help. But now, Beetle. And now we can just chase Beetle. We don't have to multitask. And just scoot. I need to get my... This re-equipped. Sorry, Beetle. Continue. I follow. Keep going. Talk to you. Now I'm going to do a slightly different route here. Uh, going ahead and talking to Jean. Because I need to go turn in the quest with Eva. There we go. Now scoot back here. Yeah. Not really sure who's faster to talk to from here. Antony or Suzanne. I feel like I need to figure out this specific tactic. But let's nunchuck a rock a bunch of times. I too really like the Beatles flying arc with like a, that sort of paper airplane just sort of like swooping <laughs> motion. It's really cute. Oh, see, that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to go talk to Jill and then accidentally sit next to Jill. Awkward. <laughs> Jill knows the mistake we've made, but they're good friends, so they're not calling us on it. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit your books. So that's what wrapping up Drama Club will look like. Or no, study group. Now we need to go talk to cool kids. Or start kind of making our way toward cool kids. Which means going this way. And talking to the coolest kid, Gunther. Taking on a sidekick. Talking to you one more time. We'll need to talk to you a third time, but first we actually need to go help Penelope over here. I don't know how many of these we need to break. I don't know if I need to break the flying ones. I'm going to not break the flying ones first and just see what happens. Drop down here. Bean all the slimes. Does that count? Or do I need to get the flying ones? Uh, Flying ones too, I think. There we go. Okay, good to know. We've gained intel. Now, now we go talk to Gunther again. Even just having two bracelets really makes a big difference already. <laughs> Alright, let's scoot. Break some things on the way. Clumsily scramble around. There's a pot up here that seems worth hitting along the way. And now we sort of launch our way across the playground. Actually, more this direction, I think. To course correct. Knock that over. And let's go to Robin on the way to the cool kids. Eh, tree, please. I feel like we need to get a little gator emote in this channel at some point. To kind of commemorate this thing we do now.
Do you get a fancy, fancier flavor for being tier three? Oh no, no, I, I don't think you. I don't think there are fancier flavors for tiers of subscription, but there are for amount of months. So, uh, I think the little Froyo flavors for your sub badge. I think there's one for one month, one for two months, three months, six months, one year, and so on. Maybe Gator hanging from the bubble gum. That could be a good one. Okay, now we're going to need. There's another bracelet monkey here, and. Uh, well, thank you to Queen Snoopy. There we go. We've got so much stamina now. We can fly forever, almost. Yeah. Alright, from here... What is the next thing that I do from here? What's my next tactic? I want to say... Oh, we need to talk to Joe. We need to talk to Joe, because we've not picked a pose for Joe yet. There we go. We've already helped Marlo and Cade. We've already helped uh, Mr. Doddler, but we've not talked to Sam. We've not been made to fetch. Dropped a pencil. Dropped a pencil. Dropped a pencil. Okay, now we go see Lucas. All right, there's that. Oh, are there little star sprinkles on the strawberry thing? Oh, there are. God, we did that. <laughs> Or maybe that's the thing that Twitch automatically adds. I don't remember. Cool, though. It's fancy. <laughs> all right, now because it's all friends, Skate Pug. This is what makes all friends very good. All the friends. Would recommend. Okay. Come up here, start the timer, break this to scrap. Uh, here's a one. Yeah, I say a one. There we go. A two... Three, four, and five. There we go. All right. Now we're going to go over here and whoop. Now we're going to go over here and grab shark teeth. Pop our way up here. Start breaking these. All of them. I'd made the mistake during the playthrough of thinking that this was the only thing that uh, Mirage here wanted you to break because I just happens to have broken all the other ones previously, but you do have to actually break all these little blue slimes. And then they're very impressed. Okay. Now from here, I think it's right to Duke. Yes. For trial. I love that Martin just doesn't really manage to even fully exit the scene. <laughs> it's still back there. It's lovely. Okay. Deliver shark teeth. Knock over another can. Or try. Now to Jada. Woo! It's a really sturdy plate. Water. And then break this thing. And then break a bunch of other things, because scrap. I need it. Yeah. Okay, there's that one. Now we're up here. I don't think there's any others. There's a trash can. Nice. I think that's it for cool kids. Excellent. What's the current... Hang on, let me... 
go to speedrun.com real quick. What's the current record for all friends? It's pretty ridiculous. I'm not going to be able to get anywhere close to their time, but I want to say it's like 23-ish minutes. 22 minutes, 59 seconds by its bites currently. Bonkers. <laughs> I'll be lucky if we get like sub 30 when we're actually doing a proper run here. But okay, now we're going to do a little bit more pot breaking, making Link proud because we need scrap again. Uh, there's a couple pots over there worth kind of trying to target, even though it's a little tricky from here. A little tricky from... A little tricky from... It's fine. Where's Madeline? Mouse, there you are. Thank you. We're going to sail through some of this scrap as well and also do... <laughs> talk to some friends while doing also a little timed race to get some more scrap. This one. Okay. Let me go around and then boost. And we got lots of stamina, so hopefully we can just make it. There we go. Timer's still going. That's fine. Eh. No. Come on. Eh. You'll want to do it better than that, but that's the idea. From there... Did you know that each pot is a reference to a different Zelda game? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Does each one of like the pot textures? Okay, I'm gonna have to start watching for that. We got our last bracelet monkey to see up here, though. So hang on, let's let's do some pot analysis before we uh before we do this though. So I'm guessing Wind Waker on these uh, blue ones here, just with the curl cloud pattern and the blue coloring. Hmm. Hmm. Think, think, think. Not sure about that one. There's a different pattern down here, though. That's a great bit of trivia. I'm going to be thinking about that for a bit. Oh, is this a different one? Is this... Hmm. Could be Skyward Sword? Or... Hmm. Is it what, like, the pots actually look like in those games? Like, they're sort of, like, coloring and color patterns and stuff? There are legally distinct variants of a pot design at the end. That's rad. What a good touch. <laughs> I love it. Oop, don't have infinite stamina yet. Soon. In fact, now. Infinite stamina, now we fly. Okay, so we're gonna break some more of these very good Zelda-inspired pots from here, not just because we need the scrap, but also because someone needs us to. You... Scooter. Now this route is one that I still feel like I need to figure out. From here, I think I could... I could talk to Andromeda, but I might actually not. I might see Andromeda on my way around. Well, yeah, let's scoot direct down here to Neil. Do Neil quest. There we go. I did it, right? Yeah. Talk to Esme. Get ice cream. Now, so the blue pot is a Minish Cap inspired one. Wonderful. Ice cream break, which will hopefully happen before 33 minutes, 30 seconds when we actually try this for real. Now from here, 
I'm actually going to scoot on up and see Mochi. Because otherwise I feel like I will forget Mochi. We can't have that. Now we're going to jump down here because we need this. Turn that into... What's their name? Can't remember their name. We'll find out together in a minute. Then we're going to go down here and impress Sumantha. Who is not easily impressed in my experience. Especially when you don't know what they want. There we go. But now we have infinite stamina. We can just sail through the sky as long as we want. It's pretty great. Kaysen, that's your name. There you go. We're going to do this race to get some more scrap. And while we're doing it, if we're really skilled, and I don't think we are, then we're going to also try... Yeah, to break them down as well while we do it. But then fail to do the race as a result. So maybe we shouldn't try for those stunts. But uh, it's a cool stunt if you can pull it off. <laughs> Those will break some other things along the way for funsies. Well, here, we'll, we'll actually do that little race proper. Sail. I think if we're like on target to cross the finish line when we break the balloons, uh, then that will work the way I did it before. I think I just missed the finish line. From there, I think we're going over here to see Bomb Bowling Friend. And good on you, <laughs> devs, for uh, integrating Bomb Bowling into a little gator game. Big fan. Hello, Rail. Welcome. We're speedrunning, or rather, we're kind of like talking through a speedrun that we are going to be attempting for real in a bit. I will not actually be bomb bowling here, as just doing it with rocks is just as fast and I still need my flying powers, but, you know, I'm glad it's there. It's a good mechanic. <laughs> actually, I think I, I have balloons now. I feel like balloons are slightly better. I think the l lift from balloons is slightly better. Now we're going to fly up the mountain. Help out Tanner. Just break everything, because, you know, Tanner's not actually picky. Perfect. Now, cattle rustling. There's a one. Nice and easy. And I'm going to come over here and wait for this cow to come back, because there's a couple pots down here. Yes. Perfect. I think we're on track for having the amount of scrap we're going to need for Junk for Trash later. Now, Twig. Hi, hi, hello. Oop, not right. There's a flip off a mountain. There we go. Now up. Break a bunch of these things. Now we help Andromeda. Good. Could see it being either or for doing Andromeda here or kind of at the beginning of this little run around the mountain. Either one kind of works. There we go. And that should be it for... Drama Club Mountain Friends. Should just go up here now. Wait, I forgot somebody. Did I not talk to Velma one more time? Maybe I didn't talk to Velma one more time. Velma. I goofed. Whoops. Well, that's not what you want. We fly! I'm back! I was just testing y'all to see if anyone would notice. <laughs> but okay, there we go. Now we don't have all the friends yet because there yet remains junk for trash. Which means we need to sail across the world. 
Don't got time for ground? And like a falcon, spot our raccoon prey from on high. <laughs> Miss. And then buy everything. Like falcons do. And we had enough. With like a hundred or so scrap to spare. Now I'm gonna do some quick menuing to get my stuff back that I want. Including a different shield because I don't want to be sledding around on the trampoline. The trampoline like actually, here let me show you. The trampoline actually bounces. Which is cool, but a lot more chaotic. Get some good speed, though. I feel like you could get some very good speed on a straightaway with a trampoline, but it's just, like, the consistency of that, though. Difficult. <laughs> Let's go back to that. But okay. Now we complete the game as normal. Trampoline tech is the next big time save. <laughs> I could see it. I guess only for all friends or 100%, because, like, there's no circumstance in which you go and buy everything from Junk for Trash on any percent. I cannot fathom any scenario in which that is optimal. <laughs> but yeah, this way we got all our friends here at the playground fort. How can you not love that? And now we just go through to the end, which will be all the easier because we do have infinite stamina. So for certain things, that's just going to make life easier. We don't even need the, like, cool Queen Snoopy infinite stamina jumps. We just have infinite stamina. We can just balloon forever. Yeah. Or we can run into trees. That's also fine. Yeah. No. <laughs> Speed, though. Faster. Uh, we're practicing for all friends currently. I'm sort of demonstrating the route, and we're about at the tail end of it here. We'll be making a real attempt in just a few minutes. And now the home stretch. Forty-two minutes ain't bad for just a very leisurely let's walk and talk. So uh again, I think if I can get sub thirty in this, I'll be pretty happy. Current world record is twenty twenty two fifty nine, which is pretty bonkers for doing all of that. But uh Yeah, my my guess I'm gonna say here, oh actually, uh Yen, I think I might have a different let's find out. I can actually find out right now. Just so y'all can set up a prediction there, let me open up my proper all friends. Uh, nah. I think I have a PB in there. Uh, okay. Current, like, my, uh, just sort of, like, test run yesterday got to 3029. So, yeah, let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can do sub 30. As the, uh, prediction, I think. You're a bit curious on the relative ages of Gator and the Friends? I too wonder that sometimes. Some of them definitely seem older than others. I kind of like it being ambiguous. Intentionally ambiguous, saith the dev. And a good choice, I think.
All right. Now, before we go do this all friends run, I'm going to run to the washroom one more time because this is a this will be a half hour run here. It's a little bit longer, but uh, I'll put you all back to music and it'll be just a couple minutes and then we will go. And I'm, oh, I'm very excited to see how we do. This will be the first recorded attempt of all friends that I've ever done. So this will definitely be whatever it is, whatever we pull off today, we'll be getting submitted into speedrun.com again. So it's going to be a good old time. So enjoy the tunes. BRB. Okay, it is time to go fast. I'm excited. First official All Friends run. The sonic music is giving us the proper mindset and mentality and motivation. And Hedgehog's always looking out for us. Okay. It is time. So, all right. Clean file. Make sure it's recording and all right. Here we go, everyone. Three, two, one, go. We are on or waddle. Appropriate. Thank you again. <laughs> Speed waddling. I like that. I like that as a cater game bit of terminology. If I ever play the Sonic murder mystery, will my thumbnail be a happy Sonic Kigu instead? <laughs> that would be a pretty good joke. I would pay Dan Jones to enable that joke. <laughs> but all right, we run. Wee! Martin! I need a shield to sled. Thanks, buddy. All friends, here we go! All right, now back up the hill, come on. Faster. Woo! Now let's get up this thing. But better, there we go. 
break some pots. Not fall off the mountain more than once, if possible. Okay, well, there's the one. That was our one time falling off the mountain. Can't do it again. Not allowed. There we go. Okay. Yep, come on. No! <laughs> okay, we can do better than that. <laughs> we fell off the mountain twice. It's against the rules. We can do better than that. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. <laughs> yeah, RNG m manipulation and whatnot. Okay. But for really realsies this time, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Speed waddle. Yeah, go ahead and keep the existing prediction. That one didn't count. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Gotta bless the run. <laughs> Thank you, Yen. <laughs> it is really nice being able to run this on PC again. Uh, the Switch version of the game does run very well. But, uh, Having to do it both on the smaller screen and there's like a, like a one or two little times where the game has to load just slightly more. Which is totally fine. It's not actually a long load. It's just if you're zipping through the game over and over. <laughs> just saves you that much more a little bit of time. Nah. And the in-game clock knows to like not actually be ticking upward when the game is loading so that like the load time does not make a difference for your time as a runner, which is great. Very good touch there. Also just nice being back on the familiar controller. Break things. Don't bonk. Okay, whoop, too far. Up the hill, up the hill, up the hill. Down the hill. There we go. There we go. Nah. <laughs> Blink, please. There we go. It didn't fall. Love to see that. Oop. Come on. Hang on. There we go. I'll take it. As we've seen, that can go worse. <laughs> now we talk to you. Use the new trick we learned. Yeah, careful. Yeah. <laughs> Neat. Fast hat. Oop. There we go. Talk to Simon. Watch a very good scene. And we scoot. Oop, but better. Sword. There we go. Break some things. Break some more things. See if we can do this really impressive jump again first try. That'd be amazing. Wow, gotten pretty good at that. I'll take that over deer and G any day. Oops. <laughs> it's a lot better than my last attempt, apparently. <laughs> Must not have had a very good attempt each time. Simon does fall a little differently each time. I'm guessing it depends on what point Simon is in uh, his animation cycle when the ragdoll initiates. 
that determines, that butterfly effect determines how Simon falls, I think. Yeah, that's my suspicion. Anyway. Okay, let's go. Hey! Half decent deer and G, I'll take it. Break that. Go talk to Zoo. Thank you. Break some more things. Climb! Um, tricky. Okay. Oop. Come on. Ow. Climb the tree, buddy. Wait, actually. I can just try this trick again. Nope. Now, let's not experiment with new tech in our actual attempt. There we go. Scoot! Hey, the thing. There we go. Carol! You're welcome. Okay, let's go snipe some stuff yeah, and run into every tree. Yep, very good. Snipe things. More things. More things. Hey, Tony. Did I get it? Nope. Tony. 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 There we go. <laughs> Grab all this, and all this. Break things. More things. Break the chest. Yeah. Break this as well. And go. And that's a little too far to the right, that's fine. Yeah. Yep. There's bubblegum. Thank you. Talk to you. Hit that. I think I forgot to do that during the demo. Uh, run. It's fine. Scoot. Here we go. Talk to you. Let's say 150. All the scrap we can get. Now let's go do an obstacle course. That pepperoni doesn't think we're good enough for. We'll show her. Okay. Hit rocks with rocks. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's little bits like this where playing on a controller has me at a small disadvantage. Eh. Making it work, though. And maybe eventually I will just learn to run this on mouse and keyboard or switch to mouse and keyboard for those little individual bits. Fuck it! Sorry. Okay. Study group, hello. Anthony! Suzanne. Jean. And now Bracelet Monkey. Yeah, gotta do the thing right. There we go. Thank you.
There we go. Very good. Now let's start breaking these. Fourteen. Break more things, get more scrap. Yeah. Get more speed, too. What a fun game to run. There's our sandwich. Let's launch. Do our stunts. Scare a bird out of a tree. I think I missed it. That's fine. <laughs> we'll get it later. Hey, ninjas. Shuriken, please. Thank you. Got that one, and then this one. There's this other one behind a tree. And there's one in the woods I think I missed. You. There we go. All right. Yeah. No shurikens. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. My name's terrible. Ah. There we go. Sorry, Oscar. It's in the interest of speed. Frame saving, you know. Uh, where's the... There it is. Yep. Now let's see Billy. Grab our beach rock. And chase a beetle. Don't think I need to go out, like, loop around that far. Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna break this. <laughs> just because I want to. Ooh, I should go under here. There's more scrap under here. Should use this route when chasing the beetle and all friends. I'm hitting every single rock. It's the worst. There we go. Keep going, Beetle. All right, scoot out to Eva. Whoop. Need this back. Hang on. Yeah. Probably should have talked to Entity first. That's okay. Not a huge difference between them. Now for Antony, quick like. And then Jill. Pretty good so far. Yeah. Hey, Gunther. Be sidekick. All right, now keep running. I gotta go help somebody. Break that. Break this. Yeah. This thing and. Okay, there we go. I had all these other ones with rocks. This is a really good branch to stand on to do this. Get a pretty good angle at all of them. Gunther! All right, now we go. Yeah. Break that. Scoot. Hmm. 
Mmm, bonk. That feels good. <laughs> Doesn't really save time or anything, just feels great to precision land on exactly the thing you're aiming for from that range. <laughs> Cool kids! Okay. No, no. Uh-oh. Oh no! Save it! A little bad luck there, that's okay. Doing fine. There we go, got that, and then remember, 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 I always forget at this point. Right, uh, Joe, 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 where are you, Joe? There you are. Don't know why I always blank as soon as I'm standing up there. <laughs> Sam! I'm here to fetch. Here we go, Lucas! Yeah. Can't get speed going. Scoot! Skate pug. Oop, can't forget skate pug. Any percent muscle memory I almost took over there. Break this. And this. This also, this one. There we go. Now, shark teeth. Nyeh. Yeah, that one too. Don't forget that one. There we go. Okay. Duke? Yeah. Where are you? There you are. Got to speed through a trial. There we go. Becca. Let's go ahead and break this just in case. I don't know how we're doing on scrap numbers. Grass. Water. Break sign. Try it some other things while we wait. Okay. I don't think that was probably a record for that split. Well, no, it actually probably is. By a good bit. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing all right here. Not like world record pace or anything, but that wasn't in question. We're going for personal bests. And we are on track for that. Mouse! Yeah, I hit those things. I don't think I hit those things. It's all right. We'll make up for it somewhere.
Let's start racing up the mountain. There we go. So far, so good. Too far. Way too far. Save it. Don't fall too far. Bracelet monkey, where are you? From here. There you are. Thank you. Now we gotta hit a lot of pots. Gotta do a lot of sniping, which is not my strength. Let's go ahead and scoot on over to Esme. Doing Andromeda later worked out okay. Actually, Neil. Neil first. There we go. Esme! Vampire times! Ice cream, please. Ice cream break, not too bad. There's that one. Whoop! Sorry. <laughs> Almost missed. Now let's find... Sumantha from here. There you are. And break pots while we're at it. Whoop. There we go. Too high. Okay. Where am I trying to go here? I think. Casein, I think. Yeah. Whoop. Nope. Precision. All right. Let's see if we can do this better. Yep. Missed. That's okay. We'll do the, uh, <laughs> we'll do it the safe way. Come on. There you go. Perfect. Now we have a balloon. Let's go do bomb bowling, sort of. Get this re-equipped. Oops, did something wrong there. There we go. Huzzah! Now up to help out Tanner. So fast with balloons. There we go. Great. Scoot. Oop. Hey, cows. This time, Velva, I'll talk to you both times. I learned. There we go. Cows. There you are. Perfect. That was lucky. This one's slightly less so. Eh. Come on. There we go. That's what you're supposed to do. Then some comfort for you. Twig! I want to do flips. Okay. Oh, where's my exit here? 
Break all these. Andromeda. I think we're going to be good for uh, junk for trash. Scrap amounts. I think. Eh. Come on. There we go. There we go. And go. Oop, come on. Hit that one. Hit that one. <laughs> Bonk. Okay. Shoot these also. I think we're looking good. Uh, did I do that? No, I didn't. There we go. Okay. This is looking solid. This is definitely going to be a PB. Like, curious by how much, though. Okay. To junk for trash. To answer your question, Estar, yes, you do get all the wristbands. Uh, well, not first in this run, but you do get them as you kind of encounter uh, Bracelet Monkey on your path. I think it went a little too far. That's okay. And having that infinite stamina does make a big old difference. Got enough? Yes! All right. Awesome. Now that's real quick. And also... There we go. Yep. It's cute when you run on rails, flink, but not fast. <laughs> Welcome, Cast, to the speed run. <laughs> Okay. Oop. Come on. Talk to the friend. Don't sled next to the friend. It's not the same. Wow, finally a split that wasn't a, <laughs> a personal best. <laughs> Even so. Do I have Deep Rock Galactic? I do own it. I've never actually had the chance to play it, though. I, I need to. I've been meaning to look into it. It seems very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Went a little too fast. Lost control of myself there. Whoa. Oh boy. <laughs> Caught that one at an angle there. That's okay. <laughs> Boy, that you can really get some speed upward, huh? <laughs> With the balloons and the infinite stamina. Quite the run. Yeah. Not too shabby, I'd say. 28 pretty much on the dot. I'll take it. Definitely a personal best for me. Granted, that'll definitely place me at last place on the All Friends boards. But that's okay. Gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Still in the top 10, technically, yeah, and that's true. <laughs> top 10 out of 6, baby. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was fun. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Prediction had all the faith in me. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> oh, that went quite well. Lots of room for improvements on the All Friends, which, yeah, like, I've really only run through a few times, enough to sort of, like, mostly memorize what all the steps are. Much less uh, precision on the actual, like, routing and sled riding speed and stuff like that, but... Pretty solid, though. How does it feel to be the sixth best all friends <laughs> speedrunner in the world at a little gator game, Dan? Pretty good. Feels pretty good. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate you all joining me for this uh, set of runs today. This was very fun. I was, I've was i been very, very, very much looking forward to getting back into this and actually getting to stream some of the runs so we can record some of them and actually uh, submit some new ones to uh, speedrun.com. Move up the boards a little bit. <laughs> hey, Evans is here. Evans, hello. <laughs> I do want to play games with you, Dan, and Dan Jones. <laughs> Welcome. But yeah, this has been super fun. I really appreciate you all joining me today. I'm going to just kind of float off into space infinitely now. But, uh... <laughs> That would be something fun to see. Playframe little gatoring it live at GDQ. Well, listen, I'd love to go to GDQ, and maybe I will someday, but uh there are there are way better little gator game speedrunners to be seen out there. And I would love to see them run at GDQ. I'm pretty sure some of them are trying to get some runs submitted uh for the next big GDQ event. Either like the summer games done quick or uh I'm not sure which. I think some folks are trying to go for, like, getting, like, an All Friends or a 100% or something submitted at some point. But yeah, y'all should go, if y'all have been enjoying this, uh, and you want to see a little bit more, go to speedrun.com, look, look up Little Gator Game. You can watch the best runs in the current, like, currently in the world. And they are a great all-time. It's Bytes has the record for All Friends at 22 minutes, 59 seconds. And, uh, they had the record for any percent for a good long while too. But uh, Arrow, about a month ago, swooped in and beat him by about four seconds and still holds that record at 13 minutes, 55 seconds today. Now we're still pretty far off from uh, being a threat to them, but hey, getting closer. <laughs> we are pretty high up, huh? It's a good video game, man. Thank you so much to uh, Scott and Ro oh, we hit the ceiling. To Scott and Robin for uh, <laughs> making this, but also joining us today. This has been super duper fun. And it's been like an honor having y'all in here in chat, like uh, explaining some things and telling us little bits of like uh, <laughs> secrets about the game and little dev secrets and everything. It's been wonderful. Yeah, you've made one of my just all-time favorite games now, and I, like, uh, really appreciate that I've gotten to actually, like, interact with you in some capacity. That is always just a wonderful thing. I will definitely be continuing to speedrun this on my own time. We'll probably do some other speedrun streams just when I feel like... I feel like streaming, but I don't feel like <laughs> trying out some other new game. Let's just speedrun some more. So we'll do some more of this down the road as well, for sure. But I feel like we should maybe switch over to, uh... I feel like we should maybe switch over to doing kind of like end credits and thanks now because there were a lot of people who have resubscribed <laughs> since this is our first stream in a little while, you know. So let's uh, let's uh, switch over here. <laughs> and roll some credits. Which are hopefully still working. Hey, there they are. Good, 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 good. Is the music not playing? Is it deathly silent? That won't do. There we go. <laughs> Much better. Thank you to all of you who did all the little cheers and the 
subscriptions and resubscriptions and everything. I super appreciate it. I super appreciate all the support. I super appreciate all of y'all being <laughs> as excited for this uh, speedrun stream as I have been this whole darn time. <laughs> and indulging me. <laughs> You've all been lovely, and it's good to be back to this. So now that I've finally gotten, now that I've gotten this long delayed speedrun stream out of my system, I really feel like we need to get back to Final Fantasy V and like recording that. Cause I got, I got a video I gotta make and release someday, you know? So maybe on Wednesday if I've got the time or uh, at the very worst next weekend, we'll get some Final Fantasy V going again. Get some momentum on that. <laughs> but you're a lovely bunch to get to hang out with and I very much appreciate that you make streaming very chill which I appreciate Speaking of Deep Rock Galactic, like, ten minutes ago. Wouldn't you know it, there's a Dan Jones streaming that right now. I think I know where we're headed after this. <laughs> so glad to see me streaming again? I'm glad to be streaming again, Pondus. Thank you. I've really missed getting to do <laughs> streams on the semi-regular. <laughs> I know I don't get to stream super often, once or twice a week usually at most, but uh, it's so fun to do. Uh, but all right. Thank you all again for joining me, and uh, thank you again to the devs for making this lovely game and joining us here today. Uh, we, I am very excited for whatever y'all go on to do from here, whatever it is. Uh, cannot wait. <laughs> but... I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. Let's go, let's go raid Dan Jones for funsies. See how Deep Rock Galactic is going. So get your hunks and such ready. And I'll see y'all over there in just a few seconds. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>